when winter came, the marijuana spider had no place to live. It ended up in the crack ditch. And we are live. What it do? How's everybody doing this evening? Um, we have a very, very special guest with us, joining us, finally, Daz. Daz put it together, thankfully. And look who we got. We got Jerk with us this evening, Mr. Brainstorms himself. Ah, wild card, baby. You don't know Back what i fucking say tonight, you know what I'm saying? Get and his levels are solid. Know. Listen to that. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So, tonight, we have got one Mr. Alan Marcus joining us, who is an overall badass, if I may say. Um, Jim will be here in six minutes plus one. That's word Hell straight from yes. the uh, iMessage's mouth. And um, Recluse, I will call you immediately after the show. Sorry. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're live, and we're ready to rip, and we've got some fun fun topics to uh, tackle this evening. We're starting right in the middle of it. We are. We actually are. Um, we're waiting for Jim, but he will be here in a few, so it's all gravy. So um, I guess we'll just start off with everybody's week's going all right. Um, any, any chaos we need to address um, from the jump, I guess, Did any, any of y'all, I mean... As of what was it uh, about a week or so ago, we know Gordon dealt with some nonsense that we're not gonna necessarily um, go too deep into, <laughs> with some uh, some psycho uh, Patriot Party far right wing lunatics. Um, but yeah, we'll leave we'll leave that alone, I guess. Um, hopefully, everything's all cleared up there in uh, Vale, Vale AZ. Yeah, um, I may. Well, I I should probably talk offline about that. Yeah, we'll talk offline about that. About it. It's, yeah. it's all good. Uh, it's not YouTube it's, worthy. It's weird, man. It's just crazy freaking weird. And you try and talk to people and just try and get people to understand somebody else's point of view and they sh shut you up. Like the the culture is broken, man. Absolutely. Dissent is uh, very, very frowned upon. In, in discourse, dissent, any of it, doesn't matter if it's to, uh, you know, gain knowledge which i think we're all here that that's the mission in life i'm gonna hit record on here too by the way um but yeah it, it's it's a mess and we've got to watch our mouths with a lot of things hey jenny's here what's up jenny good to see you and uh ordo what up terry good to see you brother and um jim will be here in a few minutes y'all just as a heads up did you tweet uh, it out i am going to, if I, I'll I'll tweet it off. If someone wants to take over, run in their mouse. That'd be awesome. Sure. Okay. Tweet this out right now. We were in the middle of a conversation. We started recording, and it's like we got this giant onion, and we're just peeling back these layers, and oh, it's a sweet piece of garlic in the middle, and it, I think it has Elon Musk's uh, genetics in it. I think maybe he's <laughs> maybe going he's into <laughs> a GMO onion with a well, let's, little fetus let's... on the inside. <laughs> we have to talk about SNL. I mean, we nobody do. talks about yes, SNL. Yes, we do. I didn't and now that. all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, we're talking about Saturday Night Live this is from New York. It. We weren't live on Saturday, but in New York, they were live, and Elon Musk was hosting with Miley Cyrus. Did you catch that opening monologue, anybody? I caught that oh. opening monologue. And uh, if anybody in the chat caught that opening monologue, they're trickling in. Um, they'll, they'll be trickling in here for a minute, but it's, it's all good. Um, Jenny, Terry. Terry, I know we were texting during that. Did you see it? Uh, just hit us up in the chat. Uh, Alan, if you want to get in the chat, if everybody can get in the chat, that'd be awesome That who's present here. But go, go on. I'm going to tweet this out while you... Uh, while you rage, brother, brother, all, all the all the videos they're on YouTube now, and they're starting to get shared, and people are just losing their minds over this stuff. There's people that think this is the most hilarious thing they've ever seen, <laughs> and we're not gonna we're not gonna make fun of people's.
preferences no. for comedy and what they laugh at. We're going to we're examine the story, the symbolism, the meta narrative, the synchromistic angles. We're talking about it. We're Which just sharing needs ideas. To be done. And not yep. not critique the comedy, not critique the skits, not critique, you know. We're not talking about the politics of no. it, the money, the exchanges, the contracts that were signed, the 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 fact that Elon Musk is on SNL. We're talking about it now. We'll probably be talking about it ten years from now. I think it's that big of an event. It was. Definitely was. And it's just we're still trying to process it. And who wrote these these skits? And who wrote the monologue? And how did they carefully choose every word and every maneuver? It did they feel very, do. very extra, extra scripted. And I remember prior to earlier in the week, uh, Elon was getting flusk or flusk flack for um, even throwing out any ideas for any skits. And then I think it was like Chris Redd who fired back like, well, first thing would be uh, calling them sketches. Like, oh, that's that's hilarious. Zang, you really got them there, buddy. Uh, but anyway, it was it was over rehearsed really and tough. overacted and overproduced. You're well, trying to tell me this. You're trying to tell me this is a live show. Now, I'm not even going to get into how live was any of these performances where some of them recorded previously the digital, and the then played show. live live no i mean like literally live to tape and then you see what i'm saying yeah i wouldn't doubt it i really wouldn't because they were there was a few that had to have been if i if i had to throw if i had to bet money on it i, I would definitely think that a few I'm, of them I'm, were. I'm suggesting that you know you get the digital shorts we understand those were recorded previously you have a musical act smiley cyrus I like Miley, by the way. That's neither here nor there. Did you? Which songs did you? I didn't see her songs. I, <laughs> I was, don't know. I, was, I don't know her songs, but I like her in, as a human kind of. She was in a skit, which was pre-recorded with that Musk. That was funny. The Chad, the Chad thing. The Chad that was funny, and then the uh, she was in another pre-recorded with Pete Davidson, where his head blew up at the. That was funny. That was a good. That's, skit. that was the Chad one. Oh, that was so the Chad one. Elon, yes, you got Elon Musk. Okay. And he comes on his headset just like this, and he's like, "Okay." Chad, this is this is Elon Musk, and I'm here to help you. And Chad's like, "Who who are you?" It was Pete Davidson being is like, "Okay, cool, <laughs> all right." Which is a pretty good character. I'm not a fan of Pete Davidson, but that is actually a pretty pretty good running skit they got going. But go ahead, Alan. Sorry. <laughs> and then you got Elon Musk with Chad on Mars. First person so on you, Mars, by the way, too. Was Elon? Oh, it was a Chad that was the first person. Chad and was the first man to go to the second woman, so they went as a couple. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, there was a pod on Mars. Okay, so there was a pod on Mars, right? And the first person to yep. go out, and Chad was the first person who had to go, like leave the safe pod to go out into Mars atmosphere. Okay, was and Miley on Mars or was she on a digital screen? Because I'm pretty sure in the scene they were. They were on Mars. I feel because like they, they were they were implying that they were going to they were banging and yeah and, they, they were going to have some fun times together yes. in the same room. This wasn't a this wasn't like a cyber right thing. This, so was, this was real on Mars. because the next scene camera cuts back to Chad who's taken off all of his clothes and shows all of his tattoos. Yeah, exactly. Because she's like. You said something about something about sex, and all of a sudden he's just starting ready for it. it. Yeah, ready. ready for it, which I understand because I would be too, because it's Miley Cyrus. But then whatever, and then um, all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay. And then but all of a sudden Chad's got, got work to do. He's got Chad's work to do. He's got to clear all the carbon. They can't, they can't do heavy breathing because they don't have oxygen to breathe. That's, That's the point of the entire sketch. There you go. The whole thing is, hey Chad. This is this is uh, Tom Hanks and this is Apollo Eleven and we need to get our astronauts home and they need to recycle the script for an SNL sketch because all of these sketches were rehashes and influenced by everything else that we've already seen. So the idea is he's running out of oxygen and he has to put on his suit, seal it up, walk outside and just like 
crank the canister to get that extra oxygen coming in. And there's like the pressurization and Mars. And they're trying to go ahead and present to you, this is real Mars. So we have to get the physics right. We got to get the pressure right. We got to get the oxygen levels right, everything right. And then we have to present it in the sketch to be realistic, like interstellar levels of realistic. And then what's the punchline? Do we spoil it? No, I feel like, well, yeah, we did, but people are still trickling. We haven't, we haven't said it yet. We haven't we, said it yet. We do haven't we said want it yet. to spoil it or do we want to yeah, we want. watch it? Okay, spoilers. We're going to give yeah, 10 seconds. Yeah, we got to spoil it. It's it's too good. We have to. Let's, let's, let's spoil it. So Chad is like, okay, Miley, uh, I have to go to work because I'm on a headset on a Skype call, real-time communication, no delay between mission control, space, sex. HQ, SpaceX, Space HQ, yeah. and they're doing the SpaceX business on Mars in their little recreational facility, Miley and Chad, but Chad's talking to Elon Musk in real time on a headset. Chad doesn't know who Elon is. Elon's trying to get through to Chad. Chad, stop talking. You're wasting oxygen. You've got to save yourself because you're with mitochondrial eve and you are the father of the martian race of the reseeding of the martian race they really did this this was the sketch on saturday night live brilliant it was pretty smart i I thought it was pretty brilliant wow it's it's exactly like that netflix show stowaway i think is what it is it's like the same thing right so they're kind of parroting these things we've already seen so then Chad walks outside. He's got a space mask on. And then what happens? He's trying to save himself. And he... Well, it was, it was, uh, no, don't do that. Or it was, it was, um, oh man. Uh, should I pull it up? Hmm. No, I'm not going to pull it up. We'll leave it for you. Maybe we're I'm... not going to play it. No, nah, we'll we won't. Right. It. No, you we guys can watch it. if you want to. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, you can watch it. It was pretty great. It was one of the last two, I feel like, in, in the, uh, like, it was it was towards the end, I feel like. It was maybe just before her second performance, her, her, her live performance. Jimmy got... Again, I, I watched I watched it on YouTube, so it was just a clip. Oh, okay. Oh, you saw, okay, so I, you weren't watching it live? I wasn't it live. watching it live. Okay. I was, I was listening to Freeman, who interviewed Chris Knowles oh, for I, Secret Time. And shout out, Chris. Yeah, I was listening... <laughs> I remember texting. Brilliant Chris. show. Yeah, yep. yeah, that was a great show. Freeman and 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 Chris, you guys nailed because it. Because was... we were going to hang out Saturday night. Yeah, we we're going to go we, live. And we all had fam. And we, had, we all had different separate issues, so that's why. So we're here now. So everything's beautiful. Can you hear me? We can, and you sound delightful. You, nice. Hey, yeah. how's it going? What's up, uh, buddy? Howdy, howdy. We got crew tonight. This this is a good crew right here. I like this. I like this. This is great. So, did you by chance catch any of what Alan just ran down there for us with the Elon on uh, Sat Sat Night S Sat Night Live? The SNLs, or no? Could you not hear any of that? Me? Yeah. Yeah, we were uh, just talking about Saturday night in our lives was disrupted <laughs> when Elon Musk went on television <laughs> live or pre-recorded. We won't know to tell the world that he's he got has Asperger's. Asperger's. Which you I mean feel the, like the living robot Elon Musk. Yes, and I will interject here by saying that it was with all the backlash, obviously, that I still don't understand, except for the fact that he's a billionaire. Which I understand, like whatever. People hate billionaires just because they're billionaires or rich or whatever. And I understand to, that. Do you want me to tell you what he's doing in Austin, Texas? I already. I. I well, yes, in a moment. In a moment, because that was my old. Uh, uh, that was a place where I lived for a bit, but um. They're ruining my favorite cocaine town. They've ruined my. They ruined my favorite <laughs> cocaine town back in two thousand like six. I feel like uh, I got out of there in the nick of time. Um, but so when Houston uh, said they had a problem, was it a narcotics oh, issue? The story. The stories both Brian and I could tell you about. I mean, he lives down there. I lived down there for a couple of years in Austin. So, and, uh, oh my goodness, the cocaine stories! I can tell you. The whole so reason all those, I all those up... NASA engineers in Houston <laughs> have a problem because <laughs> this is the, oh, the problem. Houston, Houston's hey, a hey. drug city. Houston. Let's Dude, just say 
I am I am not kidding. I have worked with some NASA engineers in other jobs. And, and you can confirm they, this? Yes. I can and confirm. They can, are they love the substances. Yeah, and okay. I'll leave it at this. Um the basically what brought my ex wife my <laughs> then my uh my now or my then future ex wife uh together was both cocaine and 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 not in the derog I'm not saying the derog basically my roommate after I moved down there with three people from Wisconsin let's just I moved down there in July of 03 with three three cats from Wisconsin and let's just say by September 1st I was the only one left and needed roommate a roommate desperately um because they couldn't find jobs and just partied because yeah every night am I going to go see Jucifer or Turbo Negro am I going to go see um you know, cave in, or am I going to go see converge? It was like that. Like every night it was just like, what do I do? Well, uh, I, I like, it was the greatest thing, greatest problem to have in the world, right. For rock and roll. And, and, and especially the style of music, you know, that, that we were all into, but, um, yeah. Uh, let's just say you the roommate on drugs. Is that what you're saying? No, the you roommate were all that on I drugs all the time. Well, no, not necessarily. But the, ro the roommate, the, the roommate that I that I had, I'll never forget. I flew back home. F I flew back to Austin from Wisconsin, visit for from visiting for Thanksgiving, and my roommate Sergio what was his name. Should have been a giveaway. Did, um, Barsky, did you get credit for your cameo role in that Richard Linklater film, that Slackers movie? Did they no. give you credit for that? No, I was almost in Drop Dead Sexy though. I was literally my ex-wife and I slept through with Jason Lee and uh, Crispin Glover that Drop Dead Sexy. We were we had roles like not just extra roles, but we we slept in during that South by Southwest because we had too many people staying with us that we were just like, eh, screw it, Milwaukee represent. There's like thirty of a thirty five Milwaukee cats and different bands at the time that were that were kill killing. And it was a blast, but um, yeah, we just we looked at each other, rolled over, and we're like, "Should we drive out to uh, Hill Country to do that?" Nah, we need to get some sleep because the mistreaters are playing later tonight. So it was like one of those things. It was, it was pretty rad. So yeah, and then I remember seeing that movie on like Showtime a couple of years later, and being like, "Hey, Crystal, come here. Look at remember the what's all my all my friends are on on this VHS right here." <laughs> it was it was hilarious, dude. And she was a friend with, I think, the costume designer or something like that. And that's how we ended up getting, like, the, the opportunity. But I was like, glad we didn't take that opportunity. You know, it was stupid. It's so but, wild. Um, so weird. But, yeah, the reason we ended up meeting was because my when I flew back from Thanksgiving um, back to Austin, my roommate who was just, you know, dabbling in uh, some, some weed, you know, some cannabis, um, he had a brand new hot blonde in you know in the front seat in the passenger seat next to him and he goes i got a surprise for you when we get home and i was, was like it a shiba inu was it a little dog a little, little uh, dogecoin dog yeah right uh we get home and um let's just say oh no no she, she was a cutie um but i had plans that night because eagles of death metal were on their first tour and they were playing with placebo and i was like i'm not missing eagles of death metal and it was a very short tour and i didn't care that tickets were 35 dollars and i'd never heard of placebo in my life and shame on me i get it whatever but i hadn't and um yeah i was like we gotta go man i gotta go to the show he goes wait i gotta show you something when we get home first and then you can go and i ended up taking that girl by the way with me to that show who ditched him and then that was a mess but all that aside he proceeds to show break open a thing and be like, yeah, so uh, remember that weed thing? Well, I've moved on to this um, delicious white substance here that da 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 You mind being my tester? And I was like, I'm 22 years old and I do not mind being your tester, not one bit. So that was that. But then let's just say- and That man was a NASA engineer. Yeah, right? Well, get this. Then a <laughs> couple weeks later, I'm starting to hear gunshots, like literally outside my window. Then I'm, I'm, I'm like, roll out of bed, roll into the Jack and Jill bathroom, close the door, like what is going on? And then um, that, was, that was strike one against um, said roommate. And then strike two was when about three days later, um, he's at work and we had worked at the same restaurant and I was home and, uh, get a knock on the door at about 1 PM and it is his most clean cut gentleman I had seen in a while. And, uh, I'll, I'll say possibly Hispanic. I don't know. Um, Alex Jones is knocking on your door. Could have been. Yeah. Could have been. Hey, come on the show. Right. 
And we're uh, gonna he, look at some financial reports yeah, together. Look at, let's, let's pour we over. Gotta follow let's the pour money. over these finances, guys. Come on. And uh, uh, Elon Musk is coming yeah, right, into town. Right. And where did where did he get all of his money? Uh, to get to the pay, bottom is, Zip2, so he starts this company called Zip2, which <laughs> is Yellow Pages combined with MapQuest. <laughs> and then he makes a bajillion dollars. Okay, can we get oh, to the, can we, can we get to the source of his income at first when he's, what, 21, 2, 3, 4? That's a good question. And he makes his Zip2 company, which is literally... And we're not just, talking Zip hey, Jazz Drive have, stuff here, right? Can I have permission to use your database of telephone numbers and addresses? And then he goes to this other company. Can I use your mapping software, please? I thought it was like, PayPal. Sure, kid. No, he gets there. He gets okay, there. Okay, all right. But his first, his first brilliant idea is not it's not like let's take pictures and post them on a directory and call it uh hot or not.com or facebook or you know because all the colleges had facebook and then you know we already had that idea before my space so the MySpace idea existed Facebook. before but before that you got elon musk the muskrat the huckster the guy who takes the brilliant idea and combines them and it's zip too and then how does he get to paypal and now he's the dog father of dogecoin that's tanking by the way guys if if those that are in uh crypto know um it, it just out. yeah i i had dogecoin about two months ago just a, like 10 bucks worth I'm on shiba now i made some money off, off dogecoin got rid of it but in, flipped inquiring it minds inquiring minds on snl Weekend update. Want to know? That Elon was brilliant. Musk, what is Dogecoin? What is Dogecoin? That was it's brilliant. A, it's a cryptocurrency. How does what it is work? Dogecoin? Well, Over, what, what is it? Wow, they're a plugin. Dude, Dogecoin they ki- no, no, no. They they shot him down. They killed Dogecoin. They killed Michael Che. And, is that and, how you took it? I they murdered Dogecoin. I took it as the you biggest. Think so? Oh, it was. It was the biggest F you because I'm in crypto. I've been in crypto for over a year and I've made good money in it. Like you're screwing around. It was it was a little ambiguous. It was it was, it was, that, it was, was ambiguous. Pur- it was on purpose because Dogecoin is the most ambiguous POS of a of any kind of crypto crypto, if you want to even call it. It's a shit coin. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows right. it that uses crypto panic or any of if, hodl, all of it. We all know it's a shit mm-hmm. coin. Everybody admits it. It's an open secret. It's not. It's just an open. It's a fact. It's a shit coin. Sorensen, what's up, brother? Good to see you in the chat. So my question you, is: You guys think they're taking down the ones that are most vulnerable, or no? They were shooting. Doing here's, it to here's here's what I here's my takeaway personally. Being involved in the crypto community to a degree was that they literally took a shit. Jost and Che took a shit all over Dogecoin because he kept trying to explain what it was and they kept literally going, no, seriously, though. But it, it was fun. It was in a comical right. it's, manner. It's funny because that's what everybody around you is. You're like your mom, your dad, your, your uncle. These people are like, what are you talking? What are these cryptocurrencies? What is Bitcoin? And now Dogecoin. And the question is, who appointed Elon Musk as the Doge father? Did he self It's a meme. It's it's a meme, yeah. It's a self-appointed. He's a. It's a meme, literally, because it was such a joke of a of a coin when it first. Because started. the I understand that. Okay. I, I've been following it for a while. Okay. I'm asking more of a just Broad. open question, Got specifically it. relating to Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live on Weekend Update, playing the financial expert nerd. He's wearing his glasses. He's got his little bow tie, right? He looks like the Funny Money Man, and they're <laughs> asking him, "What is it?" And he's telling them all this nerd speak. And they're finally like, well, what is it? And finally someone says, hustle. And Elon Musk is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, so he's like, a wink and a nod. It's a hustle. It's a and hustle. It. And then the next day, Sunday or Monday, he announces SpaceX will accept, accept. Dogecoin yes. for tickets to go to Mars. So here's the question. Dude, if you use really? Dogecoin... Yeah. To buy a ticket on the Titanic, do you expect a return trip or a cold farewell? It's a cold Chad farewell, brother. That's what oh, that is, is this is this just Titanic two? 
where they're where people are going to it's not even gonna happen. accumulate their doge, oh. buy tickets, fly space tourism, go up in a firecracker, <laughs> a penis shaped firecracker. Yeah, we they're or dicks. They're fellas. Okay, fellas. they're going up in a. Come on, guys! Space, sex, ritual. Space is an altar. Do you think this is a like they're going to create a martyr? If it even gets off the a ground, a challenger. We say they're going to create challenger? a challenger. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait! I don't want. Like I don't a want sacrifice. Like, this is sacrifice, right? An altar offering. What, what they what, do? Yeah, it's ambiguous. Very. But you're gonna you're gonna read the contract. You're gonna read what the ticket says. What your what the expectation is because you're doing business. You're exchanging money, Dogecoin, cash, fiat, whatever it is, on a ticket potentially. Right? This isn't too different from what the Virgin guy was doing, right? Or, or Space yeah, Tourism, uh, Virgin Richard guy. Branson, and then Richard also Branson. we ha- we've got um. They're selling Bezos you tickets well. yeah. to fly higher than an airplane, and you're going up, 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 suborbit. Up. For yeah. Bezos and yep. and Virgin, yep. 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 So wait, then we can finally lay the uh, the whole are we traversing on a flat Earth plane right now? We'll we'll be able to hopefully lay that to rest then, right? Unless the photos just don't seem to make it. But where they're not going well, to pass the Van Allen Belt. Question: so. Are they going to allow passengers to take cameras with them so they can peer out and take pictures once they're is that going to be saying allowed? Are we going to say no cameras, please? Uh, let's take a let's take a vote uh, in the chat and here. Um, do you think oh, they're going to allow? Let's go around the let's go around let's go around the horn here. I'm going to say know, people people on airlines. They're like, hey, please turn your cell phones off. Please stow your stuff. But that's you know? take off and descent. So sure, I mean, and we, then they turn the cameras on and they point it out their window. They get their window seat and they look down. And they <laughs> see clouds and they see craft uh patchwork quilts of the earth yep. and it looks yep. like uh it looks like a gulliver um what's that novel with the little gulliver's cushion? travels right All right yeah yep so let's, go the let's go around the horn let's go around the horn alan yeah are you alan are you saying that the space is fake in the and the uh the actual like missions what we're sold as missions won't be missions these are all open questions. They're great open questions. Thank you. I, I like that answer, Alan, because I fall in the same category. I don't think we didn't go to the I moon. don't know I because the... I have not been higher than a commercial airline it's looking insane. out a window. Yeah. So the question is, if you go to the next level and then level above that. Troposphere, thermosphere, stratosphere. And you're not signing an NDA and you're not official NASA employee and you're not you know, oh, they can take they can still make them sign an NDA, right? I was but if you're a, a different co- country, if, uh, co- not com- country company, and I was under a security NDA, and I were asking, government. will space tourism have limitations? Yeah, that, in NDAs. Yeah, yeah. Will they take cameras? Can yeah. you take your cell phone? Can you take your GoPro mounted on your mask when you're what do we traveling think? Up what do we and think? It doesn't mean that they're going to be random people that just let up there. It may seem like yeah, an yeah, open. Totally. open this is good. Yes, good precisely. Yeah, Very good, good point. point. That's a really good point. Yeah. Uh, All Brian, the what tests, do you tests, medical tests, examinations before oh, you're yeah. able to travel? Oh, good Lord. Oh, for sure. Or can we even travel across a border, let alone at this space juncture? Tourism? Yeah, for real. You know, that, and they're, they're, that's what they're selling us right now. And the they've, been, the dream. they've been selling this for how many freaking years now? Oh, well, by blah, blah, blah. And then it's push back, push back, push back, push back, come five years, five years, five, however many years. And then it's just the same, same shit. Well, it's just not, well, it's just, well, it's, it's excuse after excuse. It's some NASA shit over and over. Brian, what do you think? Would, would you hypothetically, let's say it's off the ground. Let's say in July of 2021, people sign up, whatever, and they want to do the blue origin thing that Jeff Bezos is saying. Let's say we, they get one or two people actually signed up, paid for, and these people are, uh, I'm just going to throw this out there right now. This isn't necessarily the case at all. But those people, we don't know who these people are. 
either we're not going to know who they are at all, or we're going to know who they are, and they're going to put them in front of cameras left and right, because this is just Will how they be Instagram influencers? Will they live yeah. blog their experience? Would they, would they, they'll be YouTubers. You think so? Like how, dude, there'll be some shit like that. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that, that does. Yeah. So oh then that God. word can get spread throughout the community. Oh my the God. community. There'll be, be a TikToker and a YouTuber, dude. I swear yeah, it'll, God. Be, it'll be the Tim, Dil- the, the 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 cats Tim Dylan makes fun of every week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it'll be someone that's like twenty eight and someone that's like eighteen. Eighteen. Yep. Yep. The most that's easily easily because brainwashable every, dude. I I I I know a lot of people from the ages of like twenty two to thirty five, and I talk to them and I follow them on the internet and I see the timelines, I see what they retweet and what they like. It's all brain well i'm like oh i'm like oh my god like no wonder i can't talk to y'all about any of this shit because the shit you watch every day is it's it's fucking brain damage your, the it's, difference it's, is it's skewing your yeah. fucking reality is your it's, mind open and how open? closed are you receiving or are you actively like no i don't want to see it right yeah Yep. And my point right, though, is, man. I want to see it. I want to, if I'm going up to space, yeah. if I'm, if I'm taking Jeff Bezos, Blue Origins, they have the giant window. Like, have you seen the capsule? What exactly, yeah. you know? what exactly is the Blue, Blue, I've only Blue Origin, about. Jeff I'll pull it up. Bezos? I'll pull it look up. at the, look at the capsule. They're designing it around a window because people go to space and they want to see. They don't want, it's not like they're going to an amusement park. And they're right. strapping in, they're shooting up for the experience of moving their body fast or going to low gravity. They want to see it. All right, guys, get ready for some phallic imagery because you know it's coming. Yeah. And no pun intended. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Like we Oof, like it. That's Ooh. coming. Look at that. <laughs> look at them windows, baby. Look at these windows. <laughs> Those windows. That's, are huge. that's what I'm saying. They're showing you pictures of gorgeous windows telling you. You're going to go up to space. You're going to look out the window. You're going to see an incredible view. I'm asking, so a, will they so be allowed a, to take photos outside of those windows? Park. Yes. It's a it's a space amusement ride. I won't know the photo of the inside <laughs> of it. What is this? Hypothetically, this is hypothetically Absolutely. a space amusement park. If you look I mean, at this windows, asshole, big, big, big. <laughs> he looks like if, such a fucking If Elon weirdo. Musk, if any of them want to give me the opportunity to do that, I will do happily do that for the good of humanity and report back to you guys. So Elon Musk, I used to have. But will a you do it in the Bill Paxton voice from Apollo 13? Oh, totally. Yeah. Oh, Bill Paxton. <laughs> guys. Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> Um, hey, uh, hey, Austin guy. Do you know a guy who lived in Austin by the name of Richard Garriott? Oh, Richard Garriott. I have. A, you have. There's no. De- hey, hey, stop right there, Alan. We there's no degree of separation anymore because Dude, my Crystal, my my that's ex-wife, my ex-wife's best friend Jennifer was is married to him. There Has you go. Richard Garriott purchased drinks for you to drink? No, I. She married I've him after with Richard Garriott. I've heard directly from him. So do you know Jennifer? About his space story. Do you know Jennifer then? His... I know a couple different Jennifers. That's his <laughs> significant other, Jennifer. <laughs> How crazy is that? And I don't want to keep harping on that because Jennifer. these names are and I don't want to throw my Well, um... I, I I bring up Richard Garriott specifically because he wrote a book about yep. going to space. He was a space tourist and he had to go through rigorous medical tests and nasa said no american companies said no he had to go to russia so he made ultima some computer role-playing the, games the game he, he made, made ultima, ultima yeah. online made a lot of money yep. and then he made a mmo massively multiplayer online role-playing game called tabula rasa and then he goes on the colbert report from space to advertise his video game with NCSoft Tabula Rasa. While he's in space advertising his space-based military marines MMO game, 
and CSoft is kicking him out of the company. Yep. He's... So he comes back from space, finds out he doesn't have a credit in the game he just designed. Well, he went to space to promote it. And oh, he's wow. from Austin. It's crazy wild. story. How crazy is it, though, that my ex-wife's best friend is that's i remember her talking about that like um being like yeah you know, richard gary and jennifer i'm like what wait what this was right. pre this was pre me getting like really deep into a lot of this stuff you know a lot of the esoteric synchro all of this stuff but i remember going wait isn't, isn't that the soft the 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 gaming guy she's like yep 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 and all this and their wet well, wedding was insane i don't want to throw pe like i said this is too close to my okay. Software, hardware, soft or hard, BM, ball movements, space talk, space poop stories. Did you hear the Richard Garriott space poop story in person while drinking with him at a tavern in Atlanta, Georgia? Because it's crazy. He tells the story to everybody. He has mission oh. patches. He has mission patches from his mission going to space, and he gives them to everybody with his signature on them. And he tells the same story about how to go to the bathroom, make a bowel movement in space to tell you about gravity in space, because that's the point of the story, right? The gravity is different in space. And here's how it's different. Well, you have to use a vacuum cleaner and you got to do some different activities. And there's a hygiene thing. There's a lot of, of while well, you're on the international space station. Alan, I don't mean to cut you off there, but there's a lot Go of B ahead. there's a lot of BDSM stuff involved in that as well that I'm very aware of. So I'll just I'll drop it and leave it at that because I'm not against people and I'm not a fetish. You know what I mean? Like this I'm, is all public information. Oh, it's I'm, all published publicly. The BDSM stuff. Richard Garriott related. Yeah. Yes, okay, so I, he has oh, all oh, of okay. his. He has his pictures. Got it. All right, never mind. He's very interested about it. Okay. Cool. His next sure, game, I, I don't know because I don't. His next game, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm deep into this. So his next game is called is Shroud insane. of the Avatar. It's called Ultima Online 2, but it isn't. That's so he goes online. to Kickstarter, right? Because he doesn't have the money that he's going to spend on his own game. So he asks his fans to give him money to make Ultima Online 2, except it isn't Ultima Online 2 because the change, there's changes after the Kickstarter raises millions of dollars. $2 million on Kickstarter. Okay, you got Star Citizen, this other space game, who raises how many millions of dollars from Kickstarter, and then after Kickstarter, continues to take donations for a game that they haven't delivered on. So Richard Garriott knows this guy who made some space-based video games at his company, Origin Software. Uh, this guy named Chris, and he makes a Wind Commander game, and then he makes a Freddy Prince Jr. movie called Wing Commander, where they go to space. It's awful, yeah. I remember that. Right, so, so you got a movie director who, who makes a video game, and then you get Richard Garrett, who's like, hey, my friend made a movie with Freddie Prince Jr. So I'm going to the space station. My name is Richard Garrett. You can call me Lord British. Bow before me. Sir Lord, Lord Baltimore British. works, but go ahead, sorry. And then Thank he you. goes to the International Space Station, and he makes the first movie in space. So we're going back to the cameras in space. So he makes a horror movie on the International Space Station using his digital camera. Or was it in the pool in Houston? Sorry, had to, had to do that. Russia. <laughs> These are all open questions. They are. All open questions. It's just our line of inquiry. We don't have answers. We have all the questions. I asked a question, you asked three more questions related to the question I just asked. So at what point are we getting to answers? We're it's not going to get to answers for a while. but It's gnosis. You have, you, we will, it, and the only thing we can ever know is our own experiences. So the only way we're truly going to know is do it ourselves. We're talking about our personal experiences. I have a personal right. experience hearing Lord British face-to-face yeah. The same room, drinking at a tavern, and he's telling me his poop story in space. Weight, gravity, gravitas. This guy has charisma. Does Elon Musk have the same level of 
charisma as Jeff Bezos, as Bill Gates, who just got divorced or signed a divorce. What's you see where I'm going with this? So now we have this this giant issue of finances is underneath all of this stuff because the finances allows them to run their businesses and do what they want to do. So you get Bill Gates who takes software that already exists and then sells it and calls it Windows. And now he's a leading health expert. And he's, yeah, he's an expert on viruses when um, his, his shitty ass OS is like the most notorious for <laughs> being afflicted. But in the by... news recently, his lawyer drafted a document and his wife tweets at the same time the same same exact yep. image twinned they twinned the image simultaneously posted at gemini the same time. pathazane where's greg pathazane right there baby but we won't we'll we'll, we'll, we'll touch back on pathazane maybe a uh, occult fan or um who else yeah, well fill us in what is what's that Pathazane, Path I'd have to dig it up because Greg was the uh, is the expert on that as of right now. But it's they, uh, they can talk and chat, they can leave it, comments under the video, they can it, tweet us. Yeah, this it, is an ongoing conversation. Yeah, absolutely. So Twitter, mm -hmm. get on Twitter, tweet all or, of us, or in the chat, us. or in the chat. Um, yep. but yep. yeah, Pathazane, we discussed last episode. Um, being and I'll pull it up while while we're going here just to give a little background. But it's one of the it's one of the Sephiroths. Well, there's there's Kabbalistic, um, right. there's Kabbalistic okay. path working. There's astral travel. Is space travel, astral travel, and then you get into this movie Contact with Jodie Foster, and mm -hmm. you remember she sits in one of those little blue or blue origin looking space pods. They close the shutters, spin her around real fast, get her real dizzy, and then she has this vision of going to a far off planet. There you go. And I, I want to, I want to, um, interverse. What up buddy is in here. And he just said, these guys get oh, divorces hey, to lick. Yeah. Chance is up in here. Um, thanks chance. We love you. We do Bad love show. you. I mean, chase, I mean, chance, I mean, chase, uh, no, uh, these guys get divorces to liquidate their holdings more easily before the engineered dollar collapses. And I tend to agree with that, but there's got to be. I think there's more to that story as well. We're just um, we're just making connections and yeah, finding similarities between people sure. like Jeff Bezos, who his dream was to be in Star Trek, and he was in the Star Trek movie that nobody saw. He played an alien, and he had two word line. It was like what speak simply or speak clearly or something, because there's this issue of communication between. Have you seen this scene? I haven't, no. So you have mm -hmm. this geek who loves comic books and loves science fiction and wants it to be real so much, so much he wants it to be real. So he creates the reality of the experience of it being real. And Jeff Bezos begged and begged and begged to be on Star Trek. And he gets to be in the Star Trek movie. And He's like, well, I have to have a speaking line and it has to be important to the plot and it cannot be cut out. And that's what he stipulated in his contract. So these people are working out contracts and deals and agreements and they reached an agreement. So he was finally in the Star Trek movie that nobody saw. What a douche dick. I, 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 that guy is just such a, such a tool. And there's, there's a video sitting on stage. He's wearing some fancy scarf. He's talking about his appearance on Star Trek and how great it was. And it was a fulfillment of a childhood dream. And his next dream is leave Amazon. Star Trek door. beyond. Let's, let's, let's go to space. Let's go into the space experience industry where people experience what it's like to be an astronaut. It's going to be, it is going to be fascinating. And, and the one thing, it, it's I really just I'm sorry I can't picture it getting off the ground I really can't it's just too like there's just been too many t delays or too many 
Okay, just, be specific. Getting off the ground. The business is not going to get off the no, ground? No, 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 no. The, the fact the that it's going to launch with, with actual human beings in it, I really don't believe. They keep saying, oh, this we're going to be taking reservations. They've been talking about taking reservations since, what, like 2011, 20, 2000? Like, after the shuttle program shut down, they've been taking reservations for oh. this nut. Right? Yeah, I mean, for decades. Dude. And they've and they've been they've been talking about it and, and just like beating it into the the can psych, the public psyche. Compare this this idea of taking reservations for space travel is this like reserving your body in a cryogenic freezing thing? That, so you like pre sign up for cryogenic freezing? Is that what this is? that could very well be some Ted Williams similar shit, right? according to Elon Musk Dogecoin hustle sim alert exactly. And yeah, I mean, it feels a lot like it, it's got that. We promise got, to cryogenically freeze your brain. So you and they do that, and you make and it to Mars. Frozen. Yeah, until they they can actually shoot up there. And I'm not talking about junk. So I mean, it'll turn into junk, space junk. So but. people who have died in the past in our current timeline who have their brains cryogenically frozen. Are they going to be put on spaceships and sent to Mars and then seed a new Martian colony? I, I can't see, in all honesty, and I, I can't see. Getting ahead in space travel. Yeah, get, Wait, isn't getting that a, the joke getting a, in ahead, Futurama? Yeah. <laughs> isn't that the joke in Futurama? <laughs> Absolutely. And in Rick and Morty and in every, you know, any, <laughs> any solidly written. Oh, man. Futurama. So is the, is the joke on us in reality? Absolutely. Because I'm going back to it's Saturday Night Live. There's still more to talk about there. Oh, yeah. There is. There's plenty. But I believe what you just said right there, Alan, is, is yeah, it, it reads true. Uh, cult fan says G.G. Young has some interesting thoughts on Mars. I'd be curious to hear that. I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about G.G. Young, to be honest with you. Um, Are there spiders on Mars? Are they weaving? We could be there very quickly. But... I don't have anything funny to say because I'm reading too much, and I'm not being I'm not clever as clever and witty as I normally am this evening. So apologies, but it's crazy <laughs> the amount of information we have. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, I love you. I swear. <laughs> Uh, looks like Brainstorms dropped off. I don't know what happened. His brand new Mac must have taken Oh, off. man. Hey, love and hate are two sides of the same Dogecoin. Damn right, bro. Man. That's what I tried to tell. Tra yeah, tra 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 no. You hate that you're not getting rich because you don't love it enough. It's true. And you got you to gotta nurture your Dogecoin wallet. You got to pet I, it and talk nice to it every day. It's true. <laughs> you have to play a classical music. I mean, mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot here. But uh, I want to scroll up real quick because we do already, from a cult fan, have a you know who reference, and that would be everybody's favorite band. Um, I will scroll up and get to it. I promise. I promise I will. Uh, well, it was a it was a tool reference to Tempest, the the last track on the. Uh, isn't that the last track? Or am I wrong? I'm probably wrong, but I feel like it's close to the end of the record of. Um, now I'm blanking on the name of the, the last Tool record. Some, uh, Fear Inoculum, sorry. Fear Inoculum. Right. Yeah. Um, F-I. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. F-I. What you guys' I, feelings I, on Tool? Oh, we like opened a can. Hey, hey, stuff, hey, man. Uh, tool, uh, tool, when? What, you what want me to send you a link and call for this right, one? Yeah. You, yeah, I'll send Dude, you a link. So It just keeps going and going. Like all the young re union references and stuff. There's a lot there. The aggro stuff. It's a lot. There's have you guys lot. made a pil Have you guys made a pilgrimage to the Holy Rock and Roll site in uh, Jerome, one? Arizona? Jerome, Arizona. The Pussifer Star. Oh, the the band. Yeah, no, I haven't. The Pussifer yeah. Star. I never got have you eaten Pussifer that much. Have you eaten at the Merkin? All Did organic. You? Fine. Oh yeah. It's crazy. It's insane. No, I if I went to Jerome, I'd want to do the ghost tours. We'll get Highly Heather. Heather's. I think Heather's. She's there right yeah, now. Heather she's coming. I, she's yeah. coming back with a report uh, after the fifteenth. So in a couple, like in about a week, we'll have Heather back on with full everything. That's so. good because I just watched, I finished the rest of that uh, the series thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so, been on a couple, and they'd be good. good. Um, I'm, I'm, Fear Inoculum. Fear That's Inoculum. a crazy album. So the it question is, is I love right? It. Yeah. I think it's a great. Synchromistic. 
predictive ahead of its time because because you you, you fold the gate you fold the gate on the record and the fear inoculum turns out to be an injection did you see that artwork i didn't i didn't buy i didn't buy the physical and then one tie before before y'all continue um about that is uh the you know who does all of their artwork is my homie uh but but no buzz buzz osborne's wife handles all that yeah buzzo from the melvin's Buzzo's wife really yeah she handles all the as far as I, i could be i know she handles where's matt or, we need some clarification uh, on this. Who does? Yeah, uh, a cult fan. Tool, I tool, will, there's a lot of tool artists, people who have made art for promotional materials. Can you posters. clarify then, a cult fan, um, for us? Uh, is it Buzzo's wife from the Melvins that does the artwork, or what am I confusing there if I'm conflating something? And then also, there's a lot of tour posters. Their last tour, I think every city had a different, unique poster. Yeah, so there were unique artists that were contributing artwork for. Hmm that and all of those posters i don't know if anyone has a complete collection online because you'd have to go to every city to get the unique poster some people were sharing them on social media and twitter some people were collecting them saving them maybe go to the tool reddit and see on their subreddit if they've assembled all of them together but there's a lot of artists so i was thinking alex gray alex gray because Alex Gray is building a temple over in New York, right? The is he secret, really? The, I'm pretty the, the sure. Co- the Cosm, the Chapel of Secret Mirrors, and they're using it to host uh, reliquaries, like um, religious rock and roll artifacts. That could be kind of rad. Because that was another Kickstarter project. Alex Gray said, hey, guys, we need your money to build a building. And really? they sent me, a, yeah, I contributed to it. I get this little pin, like a, it's like a coin. It's like the eye, with the, the triangle eye coin thing mm-hmm. that's the cosm and it's like you bring this it's your golden ticket to the charlie and the chocolate factory you just present it and you get free admittance because you've prepaid on the kickstarter again that's another one of those things in the future perhaps hypothetical maybe we can go and make a pilgrimage over to uh new york um yeah oswald hmm. someone did marry buzzo a long time ago she's awesome by the way i've met both of them they're both sweethearts so sweet Buzzo's one of the kindest guys i've ever hung out with at a honky show and mud honey uh, but anyway uh uh sb is here what's up buddy um let's see and from interverse we got, did you hear the, all the cult sex magic uh, stuff from the Alex Gray people? Yeah, are up to. Yeah, we've just been covered up repeatedly. Um, guys, fill me in. Why am I drawing a blank on Alex Gray? What the name? I don't know why. Am I saying it wrong? The artist? No, no. What, 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 I don't, the, art, the artist, what is he known for? Why do I know that name? Because he did Someone all wants the a screen share, for... feel free. He did all the artwork. Trippy for... tool artwork. Tool art. Oh, okay, okay, Visual okay. Artwork. Got yeah. it, okay. He did, um, he did the lateralis art. That's the, the one. I, that's why I know it. Okay, that's why it's ringing. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yep. I got yep. it. All right. So Tell you said tool artist, and my first thing was, oh, it's Alex Gray, because she I have an Alex the... Gray poster hanging on my wall. Okay, so it's Buzzo's wife that does all the packaging for all the tool stuff. She's in charge of all of okay. that. That's what I got wrong there, and I'm sure Matt can make sure that that's, that's right. I, I'm sure he Very can important. confirm that. Yep. Got to give credit where credit's due. Credit for the sure. artist. Especially with, I love art, artists, art. I mean, like that, that's my thing. That's where I come from. So, yep. Yeah. Mackie, Mackie, Mackie is Buzz's wife. That's, that's her name. Okay. Got it. Or what she goes by. I don't, I don't know. Okay. So, um, going back, I just, I want to bring it back around a little bit to, to the Musk thing and the Saturday Night Live. Um, There's so much more to talk about. There is a lot more to talk Mm -hmm. about here. Um, and, it, it just, for me personally, I know we were kind of going back and forth, Alan. How significant does it feel as like a cultural touchstone moment? It um, seems very forced. Here's our tension. I, okay, I'm going to disagree a little bit. Only on the fact, the forced thing. Um, the only reason, I feel like it, it was necess- a necessary thing to, to take place because Elon is a figurehead, obviously. Um, Why? Who said? Well, well no, he is, whether we like it or not. 
How, just, how did that happen? How, that's a, how, how did we as a culture allow that? We didn't. We didn't. He was placed. I mean, that's okay. how I feel personally. Sure. I could sure. be does wrong. Everybody else, does everybody else feel that way? I f- I, or, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? You guys think Elon was placed? Yeah. Figurehead? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, it's... I, yeah. Yeah, there's I mean, no there's, two ways. I, I really don't see much. Yeah, are we talking about an NQTEL connection to Elon Musk? Could be. He had definitely connections. I mean, the connections sure. got him sure. to where he was. For sure. Yeah. 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 His, his mother minimum. was a supermodel. Who was on yeah, SNL with him. Yeah, she was Day. on with him, Jim. Did you see it? Sunday oh, was I, Mother's yeah. Day. Elon went on with his mother. So there's all these all connections the yeah. and reasons and agreements that came together to produce this synchromistic yes. story that mm. has a meta narrative. So it was a jokes, ritual. The jokes do not matter. And people are talking, well, was it funny or not? Well, it's not the point. You watched it. You watched it to decide, well, and is it going to make me laugh? It's not going to make me laugh. I'm not going to laugh. But you watched Elon Musk dress up in a Wario costume. That was hilarious. That was funny. <laughs> I couldn't I was like, is he wearing a that's pretty that's pretty clever and funny to me cuz it was Okay. Who like hasn't Wario. seen it? Who's seen it and who hasn't seen it? I haven't seen it. So it's just so, the two of us, Alan. Jim, here. did you see it? Anybody in chat see this thing? No, I didn't see it. Chat, we got okay. Because so. we're we're gonna we're gonna spoil everything about this sketch. Yeah, if if Where's anybody the, in the it's chat, SML. There, and by, we don't have any. It hasn't been funny in years that show. Yeah, it it hasn't. It really hasn't. I don't know who's really responsible for that because you can't really blame Lorne outright for that, in my opinion. But I feel like um like dude Bowen Yang. Pff, when the, when only, the whole, only reason it was funny was uh, uh, that redheaded guy. What's his name? Uh, Conan. Conan was hilarious when he was writing for Saturday Night Live. Uh, I th- I thought it was good with Will Ferrell in those days. I thought that was funny. There was there was good stuff then. I mean, I okay. thought that was good. I thought. Um, who, I'm trying to think. Um, Chris Farley was pretty funny. Chris Farley, rest in peace. Well, um, here's the thing. Saturday Night Live, are people watching it on a Saturday night as it live airs no, anymore? No, they did no, this they're, last they're, Saturday. They're not on YouTube. This last Saturday they did, but... Uh, they did because they wanted to see Elon Musk talk about Dogecoin. So he comes onto the show. He brings his audience. He tweets it. Grimes also tweets it. Hey, I'm going to try an acting thing. And Dogecoin tanks, spoiler. though, at the same time. That's the that's the funny thing. Um, and and mm. Interverse... Is 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 I'm um, saying real quick because I, I mentioned what you know we were talking about it was he placed here how how yep, did he yep, get yep. here let me pull up and yeah, um, yeah. let's see where is it right here it's just very curious that he's showing up on Saturday Night Live Elon's like mom's famous son. Canadian model and family owned the Canadian I thought they were from like South Africa family owned a sapphire mine conglomerate which that would make more sense with the South African connection South okay. Africa. Okay, and sh- we have another South African connection to veer off to in a moment. Say that again. Two, two, two artists. We have a story about two artists from oh, South yeah. Africa going to Liverpool. Going to Liverpool for some, for some random, arts random. festival. Exactly. Showing, showing some artistic uh, puppet shows. Thank you, Occult Which is what we're getting to. For the Phil Hartman uh, RIP, because damn, dude, you're so right. Yeah. I've seen his audition, his audition tape. By the way, anybody that wants to see one of the most amazing, uh, just just the most amazing, I wouldn't even call it a mono, like I don't even know what to call it, but look up and find Phil Hartman's audition tape and it will, for mm-hmm. SNL, it will blow your mind. That man is one of the smart, was one of the smartest, funniest, I'm sorry, Norm MacDonald is, is top notch for me all the way. I, if if I need like respite and I need anything like oh god everything is awful kind of, if I'm in one of those if I have anxiety <laughs> or anything just put on YouTube and let it roll with Norm Macdonald and it will it will just make you so happy. Um, that's just some some um, psychiatric advice from David Barsky, which I am authorized to give. Okay, me I'm an it's Pat guy. I, I like I like to put on oh it's you're Pat the movie. Okay. I couldn't handle it. The There's movie. And oh, nice. The movie. It's got to be on VHS. <laughs> the movie? That's vicious. It has to be in 4x3 format. What? It has or, to be on the TV. You don't do it on Laserdisc? <laughs> 
Come the big plastic ones. Am I the only one laughing? Do you have a copy? Do you have a copy of It's Pat on Laserdisc? Because if you do, I need to see it. We'll buy it from you. I need to see it. I'll buy it for you, Alan. I need to see it. A what? A copy of what? Which one? It's Pat. Did It's Pat get printed? Oh, I'm sure not. I'm sure not. Dude, I've seen some really awful movies on Laserdisc. Yeah. Yeah. At at, uh, Night at the Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury. I can't do that. (laughs) Chris Catan, man, he just rubs me the wrong way. Oh, okay, yeah, so MacGruber. So. MacGruber was, oh, that was good. That was good. That was funny. I like. What? I love. Are you serious? I love him. Yeah, I, I love. Serious. Was that Sudeikis? SNL sketches as oh, feature nice. length films, eighty five minutes. That was a good movie. That was fun. I, not a good movie. It was funny. I thought. I, I thought. Always thought MacGruber was pretty damn hilarious. And same with. Uh, I love Bill Hader, and I think Barry is one of the best mm-hmm. shows. On HBO. Oh, Barry's a great show. Barry's amazing, and Barry's I pray it comes show. back. And it's from the same guy who does, does Atlanta. Um, uh, oh, okay. Charles Gambino or Donald Glover. Same cat. Yeah. Glover. Yeah. yeah, he was oh, in okay. Community. Yeah. yeah. With Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. For, Chevy Tied Chase was in it for a few seasons, and yep. he's like, you know what? Nope, I'm done with the, I'm we done got the role. Jeff Harmon connection here. for We got the Rick and Morty here for Milwaukee. How many so seasons in a I'm movie? I'm out with How? Jeff at comedy sports in milwaukee in 2000 which is really how random. many seasons in a movie what of what barry how many seasons well the community line is you get oh, community, oh, community. I think this it's guy three. who's the guy who loves television he's in community and he's abed he's kind of yeah. the was he asperger's too you think because he loved yeah. movies oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. he's making a movie whether shooting oh, a sitcom and that's the thing with abed Oh, they were consciously Daniel. making Summer, him yep. autistic, yeah. Uh, just an update yep, yep. real quick, gentlemen. Um, Brian Storms, a.k.a. Jerky Fresh, uh, he Is just he gave, gave us an update. He said uh, the storm knocked out his internet, um, but it's back on. He's going to run to the store and see if we're still streaming, which we will be. So Tropical will... Storm Andreas has hit land? Is that, Is that what's talking? going down? Are we talking it doesn't tropical go as far as Dallas. Storm Andreas? Doesn't you normally go that that high? It usually bleeds yeah, into Houston. Austin and then breaks up right on the hill country. Unless it's a superstorm, could be. And Lord knows what they've had down there. Because that's the first one of the season, right? Letter A, Andres. Anybody in in that area in Texas in the chat? Yeah, if anybody's in the in the uh, you know. So we have Texas Andres. Metroplexes. We have Andrew. We have Andres. Andrew. Andrew Cuomo was also on saturday night live wait was he really they let him on yes. that show oh god that guy's such a tool speaking of bdsm <laughs> so you want me just to unwrap yeah. this this uh Keep wario unru- dude, courtroom sketch just, yeah please do okay okay, oh, yeah. okay okay so imagine the toadstool courtroom the mushroom oh, kingdom god. I, I walked out of the room, sorry, when it was going down. I was like, whoa, Wario, this is pretty funny. Go ahead. People on Twitter are like, this is my fever dream. I can't <laughs> imagine how this actually aired on television. They're like, this is the deepest, wildest, wackiest thing I've ever seen. And I'm like, yes, you are 13. And I remember when I was 13, too. <laughs> Great. Let's go on with this sketch Let's comedy courtroom it's not judge judy this is the mushroom kingdom female judge and there's a trial because it was it begins with luigi do you remember i, I don't because I, I remember seeing him in the wario costume and going oh i gotta go make some chai so i remember like yeah, walking I, out I, I made a picture of it and i'm trying to figure this out and i'll yeah. probably share it on twitter after this show because there's just so much going on, if, if, and if, I just, I just have to start in the middle of it. Do you want me to pull it have, up? I'll pull it up. I, it's fine. It's it should be open use. I mean, for for YouTube. Bad. Yeah, let's see. Just just go to Twitter. Go to Twitter. Type in Elon Musk Wario, and okay. then just start scrolling through I'm the feed, it. I'm and just it. showing you... and just showing these screenshots okay. because. You have this trial and this idea that this. Mario character was killed, injured, murdered because there's a banana peel. And they're blaming Wario for putting a banana peel in Mario's path. So Mario is dead. Mario's lost his life. So they're, yeah. this is a murder trial. 
guys, I got to show this while you're going. I got to show a screenshot of this because this is from yep. Super Mario Wiki, and I'm proud of them right now. Okay, here we go. The wiki was used as court evidence in this sketch. So there's a lot of synergy going on. Just heard, this, this, this is from Super Mario Wiki. Just heard we were mentioned on that Wario SNL skit, and then they display a screen cap of the wiki slash fandom page. Nice hack fraudery there. That's something, I guess. I do wish our first reference on national television wasn't on something so terminally unfunny, though. Bravo. Seriously, that's awesome. Wow. That's so he's a, he's the defense attorney. He turns on the flat screen, shows this Super Mario wiki to describe the character of Wario. And Wario is described as being greedy. <laughs> Elon Musk <laughs> is described as greedy Wario. And in this video, you know, on the Twitter feed, he's, he's, they play his theme song. Sorry. Yeah, it's the Game Boy Mario World's oh, wow. uh, theme song. So they're they're going full on with this Mario cosplay theme. Any of this relevant? It goes toward how my client is unfairly painted as a villain. Listen to his theme song. <laughs> yeah. That's brilliant. I'm sorry. That's okay. good. That's good. The gavel's good. It's it's total fan service. And oh, people completely. love it because they want to love it. They want to laugh. And I it is funny. Laugh. That is funny. I'm looking at the bizarre aspects of this. I love it. Because you have the Mushroom Kingdom. It is bu bizarre. It's hilarious. And there's this crazy guy who released a scientific paper stating that there were some pictures taken of Mars and they look like they're fungus. They look like they're mushrooms. So I have this connection of a story about mushrooms on Mars, which we have a trial of Mario who on March 10th, M A R Mar 10 Mario March 10th is Mario day. Mario Mars war Wario Elon Musk. Damn. Mars is the red planet. And now there's a story mm. saying that there's mushrooms on Mars. And then we get a trial involving mushrooms and Mars and war. Mario, Oreo, mushrooms, mushroom kingdom. My head just exploded and I can't find an emoji for it. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, man. I'm glad it's your head and not something in your pants because that was part of the trial where Luigi... Luigi's going for some late night squeegee with the nice. Princess Peachy. I don't blame him. Get and yours. this is the court record. So again, you know, Edward Stone warned us that all of our text messages were saved and they're on the official record. And this comes up in court as a plot line in the comedy of oh the trial of Mario. God. So so as it's it's funny, but it's, it's frightening. It's fucking it's, diabolical. It's evil, like Wario. And now they're associating Musk with greedy Wario. So let that sink in a little bit. Let that oh. sinkery sink in. That synchro mystic meta level storytelling. He just walks and, into it, doesn't he? Elon. I well, mean. did did he approve this? Because did I did I tell you did I make it clear that Princess Peach is played by his real life wife Grimes or did they marry or not his baby yeah, mama, baby mama. Grimes. show the picture of what Grimes as Princess Peach Wait, on no. the Twitter timeline you got it we'll it's fine. actually her yes it is because she announced Friday night on her Twitter hey I'm gonna try out acting tomorrow night okay. watch me tomorrow mm -hmm. night I'm trying out acting making mm -hmm. my world premiere live on saturday night live in the trial of my husband who's being accused of killing mario and then killing waluigi, ours, yep. waluigi shows up and waluigi when you watch the sketch take close notice of the words of waluigi basically talking about eh, some inversion here right so the character is an inverted luigi wario is the inverted Mario. 
and this is all on display. And you're like, well, yeah, that's obvious. It's in the it's in the lore. Inversion. It's always inversion. Yes. They always head to inversion. Yes. Luigi, ruin my life. Luigi, no. Ruin my. Oh man. It's um, meme worthy. They made it to be meme worthy, and there I am. There's my did. tweet. You can see it. I'm yeah. mentioning that. Oh, nice. That was my tweet. Yep. Yep. Do you have I, a... click on the click on the one from May 9th where it's Elon Musk is literally a Wario. That, yep. And that's what I'm saying. There's a picture of the Popular Mechanics article saying scientists believe these photos show mushrooms on Mars and proof. Look of at flight. that hairline, though. Look at that hairline. I love it. I had to, I had to include, you superimpose that on, right? Yeah, yeah. He's a spray Look, can. On the left, it looks like somebody should be up yeah. him with a spray can. On the left, he's 23, 24 years old. 23, 24, yeah. Plus, he has what? better hair now. No, he's got great he hair now. He's got fantastic hair. Yeah. Wow. And look at that mustache he's got. He's got a great mustache as Wario now. <laughs> yeah. It's the new Hitler. So it's again, a new Hitler trans Hitler. It's all. Sorry. Everybody's gonna start Rock growing up. this out. At at what point do you just throw your arms up in the air and say, "Do the Waluigi"? Whatever. I don't know. It's like the oh, you really? know the W. It's like W. Yeah. Whatever. A we game can't. We can't. We can't. With their hand. Take away from the Wu Tang because that's just no. That's that's sacrilege. But Wu Tang okay. isn't whatever. Wu Tang is everything. Wu Tang is Waluigi. Everything. And for the children. But so you got the yeah. You have the purple Waluigi. You guys were talking about purple earlier, and then all of a sudden they bring out the most popular Nintendo character being Waluigi wearing purple. Purple. Dude, it's There's heavy. Purple. It is heavy. Bank crew, what's up? What up, buddy? Good to see you over here. Thanks for subbing to the uh, backup. But that's that's not even where it gets bizarre. This is let's, just the setup. Let's get extra weird. This is just a setup, and this is all in the sketch that you can watch on YouTube. So, where do you think they're going? How do you think this sketch ends? Is it like a verdict? Guilty, not guilty? I like I said, I I can't even spoil it, so I really have no clue how this would even wrap. Gordon, you haven't seen it. How do you think the sketch ends? What do you think is the final punchline? I think he's guilty. Do you that think turn? that they're going to follow a normal logic of court? This is Definitely. Alice in Wonderland style shrooms sketch. The whole humor is based off of taking mm. mushrooms. Yep. The sacred mushroom. Wow. Microdosing. They make a microdosing macrodosing joke saying that Luigi is now sleeping with Princess Peach. Is this because Mario was killed by Wario? This is graphic detail, dirty murder stuff. So they're saying, who killed Mario? Oh, I see where you're going. Mario, you know, he goes to the castle. It's Mario the king. Are they killing mm -hmm. the king? Is this a kill the king ritual? Yeah. I, the... I, don't, I don't know if ooh, they're that ooh, deep. Ooh, whoa, whoa. But is he at the level of the king yet to, to where we can honestly tie that tie that up here with if we're going to do that i mean elon musk i don't feel like he's at the level and loved as much as a uh jfk if you will if we're going to do that 33 the king kill kind of well, thing they're fighting ritual. the dragon the, they're fighting the, the dragon bowser is the bowser, dragon. Yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. goal of the super mario brothers game is to slay defeat the dragon save Koopa, the princess. slay the dragon yep. Yep. yep there's that dragon again man I haven't seen them all over this the This was place. 1980s. 85. Japan. Right. 85. Bring it back from then. Japan loves to take Western esoteric thought, yep. include it in their video games, Christianity, mysticism. Gnosticism. Gnosticism. Yeah, the, the Gnosticism. I mean, and the they Demiurge. put them in their video games. Yeah, all the Demiurge, Demiurge stuff and all the RPGs. It's insane. It is insane. Like but Sephiroth Nintendo, and Final Fantasy VII for crying out loud? Come on, guys. Right. Nintendo would censor this stuff. They'd localize it into to a Western audience. So if it's Castlevania, they'd remove the cross. If it's Legend of Zelda, they'd remove crosses from Link's shield. They got Link here, you know. And when the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was localized to that America, they, yep. removed they removed the Muslim chants. They removed, Muslim chants. They removed Muslim chants from the Fire Temple. Shit, man. 
So if you got the gold cartridge, version 1.0 of Ocarina of Time, and you're 64, you listen to the Muslim chants in the fire temple where there's a fire dragon that you go to defeat, right? The final boss. Is that gin, baby? Yep. Smokeless fire. Yep. 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 Dude. So going back to the sketch because it's, you start to unpack it, you start to pull at it, you start to think about it, and then you're just like, am I overthinking this? I mean, the symbols are right there. They're so obvious. But where does it go? Where Where, where is this going? And then they show the toadstools as like the jury. This happens so fast, you're not really thinking about it, but the jury are these toadstools, these little mushrooms, and they're animated. And we not just sketch, they quick cut to the jury, and the jury's like, they're talking about death, they're talking about sex, they're talking about sex magic rituals, they're talking about laying pipe, they're talking about booty calls, <laughs> they're talking about drugs, they're talking about cocaine, they're talking about Nintendo characters in the most profane way possible. Did Nintendo approve this sketch? Clearly Is Nintendo not. going to sue them? <laughs> Doesn't mm, you're taking a, a family property? They've got, a, they've got a case for sure. Unless they approved it. Unless, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Did Nintendo of America approve this? Is it still even? Did they run Is, Switch commercials? Does anybody? Yeah, I'm getting, curious. I didn't see any Switch commercials, by the way, and I did kind of pay attention to some of the the, the commercials because I was mm -hmm. like, oh, really? But uh, because some of the local commercials got so absurd, toward you know, towards the end, they start to air the super local commercials. Um, mm -hmm. So I remember paying some attention, and I, I saw no Nintendo. Maybe I did see one Nintendo Switch commercial actually. I maybe think it, it falls under fair use par and under parody. That could be for for. Is this libel though? If they're saying Wario is evil, no, and I don't know. No. 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 I don't think they've so. They've got no. a lot with. They've gotten away with a lot worse. Do we have a moral majority in America who's going to find Tipper Gore and <laughs> CBN and TBN and all these people to rally around spiritual a warfare, moral baby? Spiritual warfare purity in this property because Nintendo is a family company. They sell games to families and now when your kid watches grimes as princess peach talking about sexual acts with luigi so is grimes edgar rice burroughs princess of mars because she's the princess of mars mario yeah mario princess of mars edgar rice burroughs john carter of mars sex and rockets john carter Yep, they got them tied around a feral house. You following me here? Tie tie it to uh, King Kill Thirty Three with Downard. Oof, it gets it so gets when you have messy. Grimes showing up as a princess wearing a crown because she's a princess, and if you're married to a princess, or you're conj conjugal visiting a princess in a castle, does that make you royalty? <laughs> Heavy. This is and if you're killing insane. Mario. They're talking about killing Mario. But I'm, I'm trying to get to the end of this where Mario, does he get an extra life? Does he have extra life? Does he reincarnate? Does he come back? I mean, there's metaphysical questions in yeah. this sketch comedy. Hmm. And then it goes off the rails. They don't know how to end it. So they go non sequitur end. Of course. Of course, because... In the worst possible way. Know. They have no idea how to write. So Wario's like... Uh, I have to defend my character. This is hate speech. I am an Italian Japanese uh, man, and you hate me. Wow, they went to race, and, and we're like, you, you, you're making a race really? joke. They make the worst possible race joke when the Andrew Asian Cuomo, hit. when Andrew Cuomo shows up in the court to end the sketch. And basically saying, hey, uh, the Italian American Anti Defamation League. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a punchline. That's a kick in the balls. Exactly. That's anti humor. Yeah. So, so wow, they're saying. Is, absolutely. So, so that that's the so dumbest thing I've Mar ever heard. Mario comes back alive into the courtroom. He has an extra life. He's got three more lives left, but he's played by Keenan. So he's a black man. They killed a black man. 
And they're talking about a black man what? who came back to life as a Mario. Oh. But the Italian American Anti Defamation League with Andrew Cuomo says, hey, you guys are defaming our characters as Italian Americans. And then and then the sketch is over and you're like Yeah. <laughs> brain pain wow. indeed. Brain fucking pain. But the best kind what? of brain pain. And I'm like Did anybody see? Did anybody for reference, Alan, when was the um, the Cuomo uh, SNL episode? Because I, I I pay as little attention as possible. Well, he's in New York. Good yeah. Right. Yeah. So then, do you remember when I that was by chance? Was it recent? I don't know. I don't know. But they're they're referencing in the sketch the fact that Elon Musk says people on the internet like us are mean because we're asking questions and we're oh, yeah. talking about it and we're having this sort of dialogue which is a cultural critique we're saying what did we see right what did they show us if you're a parent and your kid's like hey i love super mario brothers i'm playing my 3ds super mario world hey mom can i watch this sketch with mario on it you got a child your parents are you going to pre-screen lot. this? Right. You're going to say, yeah, no, I, mean, I can't show you this. So, Mom, Dad, why Nintendo. can't I watch the screen? Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it's, it's Mario. It's Nintendo. Yeah. It's um, funny. It's comedy. So you're a not cool parent for not letting your kid watch Elon Musk and Grimes in cosplay costumes. See, I mean, then, then we get we get to a question, though, of, okay, um, Gordon, you're a father. Jim, you're a father. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to speak for Alan. Um, but in your fatherly opinion, parental opinion, okay, so we know at this level that the the um, programming runs extremely deep, and I'm using that term loosely, obviously, because it's abused um, in our community especially. Um, where So we're on meta levels here, me, hella meta, meta levels. Um that's what where we're you, at. What, Metal what, never. What would you guys? What would you guys think? I mean, after hearing all of that, I mean, I, I'm still processing, and I'm going to still be processing for quite some time after this. And by the way, as soon as this is over, I'm putting this up in the RSS feed um, for the podcast version. I don't care that I'm like five behind. This is going up, and then I'll catch up because this is too good. This so, is current events. We're just yeah, talking current yeah, events. And this what is current, in the world's going on? So, but for you two gentlemen, for, for Jim and Gordon, I'm curious, what, what's your take on that? Um, for, you know, if your kids came at, I'd say that SNL is about as damaging as TikTok. I understand. Like, I I don't mean to cut you off, but if you want to expound a little, I mean, TikTok is, is uh, retarded and I don't like, I, I think it's stupid, but that's just my opinion. People seem to have fun with it. Whatever. Let them have their fun. Um, I don't, but because we're so far gone, we're so far gone. If you, hey, if you, Dad, what's the Italian American Anti Defamation League? What is that? I don't get the joke, Dad. What is it? What it? What is? What hate is it? Crime? Yeah, hey, Dad. What? Let's add, let, both. What's both. that? What is a hate crime, Dad? Mom, Will someone tell me. But I feel like they're going to get that from school if they're of a certain age. They're already yeah. been indoctrinated already. to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we went to parochial schools, Alan, so we had a different experience. But, I mean, the I want to. The question is is a hate crime funny? A hate crime is just. If a- the answer is no, it's not funny, then why is it on a sketch comedy <laughs> show? But at the same time, I have an issue with the, the term hate crime because I feel like, uh, or hate, hate crime, especially because a crime is hey, a crime. Man, is a I crime. hate crime. Right, but a, a crime oh, is a like crime, crime is a crime. I don't think you can really... That's like thought... Then you get into the, the whole thought crime thing because then you're assuming there's hatred involved in the crime that's been committed because, oh, this this colored person... And usually that's how that goes with hate crimes, quote-unquote, where you're attacking a person of another, you know, descent uh, or, or what what have you, like, or, or a different color, you know, if we're going to be that ridiculous and lame about it. Um, skin color. So... Um, 
who's to say that you can get in that person's mind at that time unless he's screaming, I hate this blah, blah, blah. And, it's, you know, sends a pejorative at them or whatever. It, 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 it's a matter of I have an issue with that because it's, it's, a, it's so loaded and ridiculous that it's just, you know, it, it's a mess to begin with. But I know that digression was a, a bit absurd. But at the same time, I feel like I need but to address But that's what it. we're dealing with. We're right. dealing with an absurd level of humor. Right. And it's the question mark. Is this humorous or is this no. humiliating? This is humiliating. Like, And wh- as- why is Elon Musk going on television to play a greedy Wario character? Self-deprecation. Is- Self-deprecation is- to make himself more acceptable. That, that's, that's kind of it because he knows that there's that. And then at the end, I'll say this because that prove- it proved it all to me at the end, one of the last skits where he said, where, oh, the last skit of the, the whole show, just before they ran the credits and they're all out on the stage with their moms and the masks, he, they're robbing a bank or something. It's an Old West skit. And they literally had, I don't know if you saw this, Alan, but they literally had, no, not yet. okay, it's, it's, uh, it's disgusting and awful. Elon Musk's, and this just proved it all to me. This is just like this perfect way to just sum it all up. He, they're robbing something. He goes, hey, guys. And he's like, the nerdy guy that's kind of smart where all they're all dumb like western robbers you know and like, did we mention wait. the weekend update no we will or i think we did but hold on let me let me just get to this this is important okay so they're about to rob a bank or try to ambush these other criminals who are going to get to the goal before they get to right and musk walks in he's wearing a hat and these are all just like hillbilly you know morons just like well if we don't blah 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 i think we should ambush them and blah 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 and then musk comes in and he goes i got an idea and it's all awkward and horrible obviously it's like his his acting and he goes i got an idea guys why don't we um why don't we dig a hole and then we'll we'll, we'll tunnel underneath and then we'll come up and surprise him and then they're like who let Lee Ron talk again? Like they made fun of his name, you know, like totally ma- whatever. And like, man, you on that did it. You know, just ripping him, ripping him, ripping him. Cecily Strong is playing the the uh, proverbial, uh, the, the token prostitute, right? It's like on some um, Deadwood Westworld type shit. And, um, and then he, he's like, well, what if we, uh, blah, blah, blah. He goes, well, we're not even wearing masks. You want to go in there maskless like that? And he goes, well. And then he looks at the camera, deadpan, and goes, well, I did make a mistake by saying masks were not effective in any way and it's stupid to wear a mask, but I was clearly wrong with that. And he said it as dead serious as he possibly could, basically just like flushing any last bit of... of, um, Canary in the coal mine? Libertarian, you know, whatever he's... Yeah, and to me, that was the end of it, where it was like, wow, you're sincere. They've What's continued. that smell? Yeah, exactly. There's some, there, there's some gaslights yeah. in this mine. Exactly. I, yeah. I think we're mining some gaslighting, really? hustling, ver- Dogecoin. Verbat- verbatim, he said that, though. Verbatim, there, that I, so I made a mistake. Okay, okay, by... They're mining for gold? No, they weren't mining for gold. They were trying to rob... Are they mining for Dogecoin? Are they mining for yeah, Ethereum? That's good, that's are they good. mining for what are the, what are they mining for? So that's you have good. Elon. You're telling me you have Elon it wasn't Musk mining. in a mining sketch. It wasn't a mining sketch. No, they were rob. They were a group of a band of like robbers. Okay, okay. that were like being so it's attacked. Not no, like no, gold no, no. Rush times? no, 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 no. It it wasn't. It was more of like bandits. I haven't seen it. Okay, yeah, it was bandits. They they were so going to rob another more about group. Of, stealing wealth. Stealing wealth. wealth yeah, transfer. Because, some yeah along those lines completely so like I a divorce the, court love the way you're reading this Bill I Gates love your mind is divorcing <laughs> can, I, can, his I rape, wife? can i rape your mind um no, uh sorry. i think you're already in it i know i know i, I think I our just, all of our minds right now raped, are just mind melded we are all our minds have melted elon musk has melted our minds because he is the guy who brings us all the good stuff he goes on joe rogan and what is he famous for on joe rogan uh, and then he goes on SNL and, and he talks about shrooms about and, and the, microdosing and, and macrodosing. So all this talk about changing your consciousness and the whole thing was like a fever dream. Yep. Mushrooms on Mars. I don't know. But you said something about digging a hole. Well, it was okay. So they wanted to get to this gold from the, they were going to rob these other bandits 
right, type thing, and they knew where their gold was stashed. And and Elon's proposal, or Leroy, Leron, it was like a total, it was hilarious because it, it was, that was clever. So anyway, not very clever. We did it's laugh funny. at some of these sketches. We don't, there was, it's yeah, like we don't there was, have a sense of humor. Exactly. It's not like we're being overly critical and guarded. Right. We are spontaneously laughing at the absurdity of this. It was pretty, there, yeah. Especially and then we spot laugh. another joke on a meta level, level and we're just oh, like. Triple laughs. Um, but yeah, it was it it was along those lines where he he was using his <laughs> boring company, um, yeah, to get to the uh, obviously it was a joke on on his his silly boring company. Um, but his boring company drills holes into the earth. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how many of those uh, dumbs he's run into in the process. Just just throwing that out there while I type this out because I can't think. So that that moment. that connects about. <laughs> Three other things yep. that I wanted to go off of. Let's do it. And boring company, digging holes, archaeology. And the reason I came on this show was listening to the free zone with Dazalt. Dazalt is talking to Freeman Fly, and they're talking about a lot of really interesting topics. So I'm tweeting them and I'm like, I'm as I'm listening to the show, I'm doing my research and I'm finding out what they're talking about. And he's talking about Liverpool. He's talking about the Merseille River. And he's talking about this mall. They're building a mall. So there's archaeology in this historic area where they're digging to lay the foundation to lay the pipes, the sewage, the infrastructure, to put up a shopping complex. Do we need a new shopping complex built in 2020? And they're opening it now. I mean, are people going to the malls? And they have all these arts festivals to celebrate it. So this other connection has to do with South Africa, where Elon Musk comes from. Do we confirm that? South Africa, Elon Musk, birth certificate? Show me the birth certificate of Elon Musk. <laughs> good... mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show me the family trees. I want to see the bloodlines. I want to know who the mother is. I want to see the matriarchal mother line because we have Elon Musk again. We have Grimes who birthed this alien child? Is it a hybrid child? Is the DNA genetically different? I don't know. I mean, these are the themes we're talking about. These are the themes they're making fun of on the surface. And trying to connect this back to this arts festival in Liverpool. Why Liverpool? What is Liverpool? What is the significance of Liverpool? Did the Beatles play there a couple times? <laughs> Did they? That's my, I mean, that, I was thinking about that actually the other day. I was pondering the the whole Liverpool thing because I listened yeah. to that with Daz too. And, but I was like, what else is, what, el what else is it about Liverpool? Um, and then I started marinating on the name a little bit too. I'm just like Liverpool. And that kind of caught right. me. And then, then something else obviously stole my attention away from that. But I remember, I remember pondering that and being like, what the fuck is it with Liverpool? And obviously- well we were talking about royalty and there's this company called Royal Deluxe that makes okay. giant puppets. Okay. This is, this oh. is what, this is what they were Very telling us about on the Freeman show. So we have right. these giant marionette type puppets. Right. So we're tweeting back and forth about why are they shutting down the city of Liverpool to have giant puppets walk through. And they were talking about Titanic, the story they're telling about Titanic and Liverpool, and there's this guy in a diver mask, like an astronaut helmet, but he's going underwater. And we saw that in the Elon Musk Chad sketch. There's a helmet, and there's oxygen, and there's pressurization. This will all unravel, and you'll go, oh, I see the connections. But there's so many of them, and we're getting there, slowly but surely. So this guy named Jean-Luc Corcolt has his company, 
Raoul Dulux, he's French, and he makes these puppets, and he calls them Lilliputians. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. So, so you have these Lilliputians who are manipulating the movements of these giant puppets, and they're Inversion. walking downtown. So they're Inversion saying the Gulliver's Travels, Lilliputians, Rosa Liverpool... Crucian. Who's a Rosicrucian? Who's a Templar? Yeah. Who's a knight? Who's going on a journey? How many knights riding one horse? All these. They're, we understand. We see them. They're in front of us. We're talking about them. And artists are using these connections to tell stories on a meta narrative level. So we ask ourselves. Do we want to go to Liverpool to see a puppet show? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but apparently a lot of people did, and they made this big tourist thing. Yeah, pilgrimage. So there's there's a lot of discussion about money and finances because they're shutting it down for a weekend. All the businesses, they, they want a parking because the streets are closed off. Because they have these humans called Lilliputians wearing Lilliputian costumes, walking down the street, putting on a live action role-playing puppet show in the streets of Liverpool. And there's a few different instances when they've done this, but Jean-Luc Corcault says he's fallen in love with Liverpool. He compares it to the Milky Way. He, he, he uses specific language to say Liverpool to me is like the Milky Way. There's just something about it. I'm just drawn to it. It's just really special. As above, so below. Sure. Sure. And going back to Liverpool One, the shopping facility, the Mecca retail center for the area that they're that they're building, and they have another lights festival that they're opening up with. And now the big thing forward looking in this timeline is another puppet show where they have this daughter puppet, this little girl puppet. And they're taking this little girl puppet to Liverpool from and you'll have to look on twitter to see the map across muslim countries turkey and such and i'm not sure exactly where the first stop of this journey is but i know where it ends it ends in liverpool a oh, real quick alan i don't want to interrupt your flow yep. uh the map is where what would i what would i search it out under it's on my twitter got it, I'll find it. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. i got you keep going buddy and you know what a, a daughter isotope is uh, when an element is transmuted to a, another element by taking away uh, an electron. It's called a daughter. Mm -hmm. just, a, just a side note. So I asked the question, and this is a, I, I guess it might be a difficult question to answer, but why did two men, artists, they went to art school together, fell in love, create art together. They go to England and they put on a Team America World Police adult puppet show with two male puppets. Now they're taking a daughter, so two dads, one daughter, on a journey of discovery of a lifetime. And they have a lot of school curriculum. They're involving the children. They're using it as a teaching moment. And I'm asking, you have countries who in the past would violently dismember people, stone them in the streets. You guys follow me here? Yep. This is history. This is what we're taught in America. They say these countries are violent. They say religious fundamentalism means that you don't have free speech. That's what makes America great, is we have religious freedoms. But we're not Liverpool, we're America. We separated from the Queen. We had a Boston Tea Party. We left, we said, we don't wanna deal with that. The pilgrims on the Mayflower left. Our history tells us in American schools for religious freedoms 
we all know well the lines there with 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 historical whatever you want to call it and i'm not even going to throw the the rock right. name out there but i mean it's just a joke it, it's 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 a joke period there's no other way around it this is real this is real life and this is real history and we are relearning so much mm-hmm. and what we learned in our public education in america <laughs> was very specific and they told us mm-hmm. side note today i'm i'm doing some spring cleaning i have my my planner from 2001 and i'm like i wonder what i wrote about in the month of september when school started <laughs> so i open it up and i go and my only note is pod has a new album called satellite it's releasing on this <laughs> tuesday september oh. 2000 Oh, I'm sorry. I feel so alive because I am the youth of the nation. And my oh, favorite right, band right. is on MTV, right. TRL. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm calling Ooh. every day because I got to see POD number one on TRL. Because Christian music is finally going on MTV. MTV, Masonic Television, where they play the music. In Times Square, where Andrew Cuomo appears and tells us, here's the puppet, here's the giant. Yeah, there it is. Wasn't just the giants who showed emotion when they finally found each other at King's Dock. Most witnesses found themselves hunting for a tissue, too. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. Well, yeah, you're having a tissue because it's a very emotional dramatic presentation for all the souls that we lost on the day they oh, bought a nice. ticket to go on a ship called the Titan. I mean, mm. the, the Titanic. I mean, the Titan. Okay. Is a Titan a man of renown? Is it a tall guy? Is it like a really, is it like a leader of industry? So you have wealthy people buying tickets to go on a wealthy boat with insurance. Hmm. Just before the Jekyll boat. Island, too, wasn't it? Or was it post? Just right around that time. So this giant story here, this guy, you see his little helmet there? He's, it's, he's taking his helmet off because he's holding his, I don't know, this little girl, I don't know if it's his daughter. Marionettes, but go ahead. Sure. And you see in the red, those little guys in the red, yeah. those are little cushions. So, so they're showing you the scale. They're saying these giants, these Nephilim, these men of renown, these men of renown, renowned men on a flat earth, walking across water from a Muslim country to Italy, because they have to cross water. And the path on the map, if you find it on my Twitter, there's a path of a map. And they're drawing it, and it I goes over water. It. So you have, I don't know if puppets are going to walk over water. I don't know if they are they Jesus now, or what's the deal? I wasn't so click on the, the click on the link. Go uh, go back okay. to that tweet, and there's a link called Giants. Um, uh, uh, I know where I know, I know where it is. I think it's... the link is Giants. Yeah, it's a giant think... website. Okay, and then you just see uh, just scroll up, scroll up. I was talking. We we're talking about Oscar, the, the important Oscar ceremony. Uh, uh, like the Tim, the, the Tim and Eric. Shit. Yeah, Tim and funny. Eric. Uh-huh. Yep, there, uh, there it is. Giants, Liverpool. Right. So we're asking ourselves, what the? As Americans, understanding culture, what's the significance of these giant? How dare they? Because they whitewashed it. And and also like uh, uh, Ben Grundy and Aaron Wright have t- been touching on this very recently on mm-hmm. Mysterious Universe, going very deep into all of this, which is fascinating. The timing, obviously, we're all on the same level here. We're all the wavelength is it's a strong current here. Yeah, and, um, yeah, it's a synchromistic current bubbling yeah. up to the surface, and we're all being forced to talk about it. Yep, it's awesome. I love it. Um, it it it's just it's fascinating that my goodness. Man, uh, if we, it could go to Oswald Spengler, it could go to William Sims Bainbridge. There's all these historical figures, and 
the best we can do is search on our smartphone for a Wikipedia mm-hmm. entry to understand the complex lives of these people. And if we click on links to Wikipedia articles, we find other people that they're connected to. But we're using our minds here to make connections from the knowledge that we've gained, past, present, future, and just trying you, to put some connections uh, together. For sure. And and Alan, did you by chance get that message uh, from Alan or from um, Oswald Spangler in the chat? Uh, could you ask if? Yeah. Alan, yeah. Okay. Okay. About I, William Sims Bainbridge. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've got so much information. That's a whole nother show, I'm sure, right? And and we're, I mean, the question is, as researchers, you know, how are we preserving this information? How are we documenting in real time as it happens? Because this is a huge festival. And this is in the past. We're looking to this new festival that's <laughs> happening this summer with a lost daughter narrative of a little girl who is a wandering immigrant looking for a home and they are accepting Anubis. her. Anubis. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, wow, yeah. That's a big black dog. Yeah, it is. It could be yeah, yeah, a black dog. dog. Mm-hmm. Whose name is Zolo, who's even non-dog lovers. He's maybe an alien dog with a name like Zolo. Is he from... Well, Zolo is are... a canine? Is Zolo is a canine? Good. Those, those are, are the South American dogs that are hairless. Yeah. Have uh, them up here. Are they neighbors with the Dogons? The Zolos yeah. and the Dogons Maybe they're, have a little powwow yeah. together. And they say, hey, we don't want these giants walking across Africa. Send them to Liverpool. <laughs> so this in is... Liverpool, again, again, it's not directly related to this giant thing. But yet it is because it's an art festival. So the questions are... The government sits around, decides, they plan. We're going to have public land used for arts displays, festivals, parades, gatherings. And we have to issue permits for this, don't we? We have to have our law enforcement all together and on the same page so we can keep public safety. And they have to shut down the city. And again... Liverpool. Hmm. There's a picture of this guy. His name yes, is guy. John Luke Corcault, which reminds me of <laughs> a modern day Jean Cocteau. He looks like he's John, like he's trying to be a John Cocteau. Precisely. Yeah. Hold on, let me get back to that. Um, His name is John like... Luke Corcault. Corcault. Yeah, there, there's no really. Corcault. His name is literally Corcault. C O U R C O U L T. American says. Hey, core cult. I'm I'm going to see the core cult presentation of puppets. That's him. There's another two guys. That's what we need to find next. These other two guys from South Africa who are. Ugh. Savile, <laughs> savile. Dude, what it's is like, this? this guy's up? He looks like. Ugh. He looks Ugh. like. He looks like Dandy Larry Bud Melman. <laughs> Dandy, yeah, absolutely. All oh, this. Is- so you're a member of the Liverpool City Council, and you're going to approve this permit for a guy from French, from uh, uh, French. He's from. Uh, hold on, let's get it right. I guess he's um, from France, but he adopted the city of Liverpool. And you literally can't spell the word core cult with O C C U L T. Literally in his last name there is, it is the word occult. occult. There it is. This is heavy. Oh, it's hometown so for Nantes. So if we're playing with anagrams, word games, creative inspiration, what is the fount of this creative inspiration? Is the fount of the creative inspiration the waters of Liverpool? And we also have his hometown as a well a, an anagram for Satanas Satan Satanas. Or, or, or Satan with two ends if you want or with the e. He, uh, John Sorry. Luke John Luke Corcult, he was given an honorary degree from Liverpool University. He didn't go oh, there. Of course. He didn't study there, but they gave him an honorary degree. Okay. 
let me let me let me just read this for the people listening on the the audio only in the podcast. So, how the Giants came to Liverpool? What is up there? The bus had paused at traffic lights on Lime Street. Spiders. And a, yeah, spiders. There you go. Um, and a woman was staring out the window, pointing at the top of a tower block. Concourse House, once voted Liverpool's biggest eyesores, was attracting a different sort of attention. It's a spider, the woman exclaimed. It was 2008, Liverpool's year of European capital of culture. It's just in unis- what, what, who knows. Um, and the city's people were getting used to weird and wonderful things taking place on the streets. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the giant spider was definitely unexpected. It appeared quite suddenly on the side of the office building, apparently curled up asleep. But it wasn't long before it climbed down and began to explore. Holy shit. And if you could see the uh, the, f- <laughs> the photos here... Um, it's Lip. like uh, an octopus climbing up a tall building. It's, yeah, it's and like, that's dude, what Doc Ock from Spider Man. I'm half tempted to just get one of those and it's just to piss off my HOA. <laughs> 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 okay, so La Princess was um, the 50 foot tall metal creation of French arts company Le Machine and Liverpool's first experience of large scale street theater. She roamed the streets for three days, dwarfing some of the city's landmarks and fascinating the crowds who gathered to see her. Then she disappeared in a fog of dry ice into the mouth of the Queensway Mercy Tunnel. Well, there's that. There's it is. That's the connection to this Mercy. I was this, just about to uh, say Mercy, M E R C Y. Yep. Or mer, as in merman, mermaid. Yep. Say, say what? I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just a dumb American trying to become a cultured global citizen, and I'm learning about Liverpool. I'm learning about creative artists, how they think, how they present themselves, and how they transcend limitations, creative, sexual expression, it's all out there in public and, in the and, streets. And here we go. Here's some of the kicker here. It seemed like nothing would ever top her visit, but the La Machine was in Liverpool. It's co-creator Jean-Luc Corcolt. I'm not it's sure. It's a female to... machine. Yeah. It's a female Fem- machine. La, la, not le. It's a feminine uh, machine. Yep. Walked into Marseille side Maritime Museum and spotted a letter written Maritime. by. Maritime. Yep. Water. Uh, written by a girl to her father on board Titanic. It would be the inspiration for Corcolt's return visit to the city with his new company, Royal Deluxe, with cheese. We were looking, quote, we were looking for a new production to take place in the city center, and things just came together, says Wendy Simon, Liverpool's deputy mayor, responsible for culture, tourism, and events. But at first, it was hard to know what to expect. Quote, it's very hard to imagine, says Wendy, who was one of the team who brought the Giants over for the, their first visit in 2012. Quote, I can't remember going to see them perform in Antwerp. <laughs> Antwerp, don't get me started. Belgium and being given the script and thinking, gosh, don't they half sleep? And running through the streets of Antwerp, which was no mean feat, amongst crowds and recognizing why it is that, why is it that they sleep a lot? The Giants do like a siesta, partly then for those who don't speak, that's a nap. Uh, partly to give the thousands of people who turn out to see them the chance to experience them up close, and partly. So the Lilliputians, um, yeah, Lilliputians. Right, because that goes back to a story of mm-hmm. Gulliver's Travel. Yeah, the Lilliputs, uh, who operate them, get a much-needed break. You have to, quote, you have to physically be there and experience it to realize how wonderful it is. Yes, you have to be have there. to. It is your moral imperative Duty. to w- witness this public ritual. Yep. It's a play that's conducted yep. on the streets of Liverpool. Ritual. Um, people really engage with the characters, with the story that they're telling. As the show progresses, they forget they're not real. There it is right there. As the show progresses, they forget they're not real. And I the forgot. Shoot. Yeah, I forgot wow. that that I was forgot ins- That's insane. That this display in front of me this giant it's not related to reality in any way but i don't know why i'm swayed and why my emotions are people are riding it like a freaking in this photo here these people are literally it's like war of the world absolutely tripod landing on earth 
But this was a friendly spider. Yeah, yeah. He's he's one of who, us. Who wrote right Who right wrote War of the Worlds? H. G. Wells. Okay. okay. Royal Society Tavis or not Tavis? Uh, Royal Society. Uh, what what? Um, Fabian. Anyway, I'll shut up. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also the one wonder of the giants, how they move, the engineering behind it, and the music. It's so joyous. It's always great to see people running through the streets to catch them, and that look of happiness they get on their faces. The Giants' journey finishes in Liverpool, where it was their last performance in the world. Kirkholt revealed this at a press conference in, a, in the city while taking a break from rehearsals. Quote, I have reached the point, <laughs> I'm not going to do a French, I have reached a point where there needs to be a change, he said. What? Through, Why? Yeah, what, what change cha- needs to be made here? Change? Um, doing the same thing until I die doesn't interest me. And though he managed to m- remain steely during this, and that's S-T-E-L-Y for those, if you need to look that up, go for it. Um, but if you do... S-T-E-L-E, E-L-Y. like a steel, like a yeah. Stella? Like a ste- <laughs> like, hey, Stella. Yeah, right. Thanks for watching, <laughs> Stella. There's so much sleep Stella. references. Liverpool's dream, the dream in pictures. Yeah. The, don't mm-hmm. they half sleep? Yeah, that, yeah. What? Time to awaken uh, the giant. Yeah, and this is twenty since 2012. 2012 how many times has that been brought up? 2008 and 2012. Okay, since 2012, we have explored Liverpool to prepare the giant event here, and I've become... And I've been overcome by the history of the city, he said. Over time, I developed a real connection with the people of Liverpool. Of all the different cities I've been to for these events, Liverpool remains for me a bright star serious in the Milky Way. Whoa. Yeah, let's go. Let's did go. He just make, did he just say that? Yeah. Yes, he did. It's quoted I mean, right here. Over this, time. This, I, this guy famously does not give interviews. This guy famously does not talk about what he's doing. Well, there and then you go. When he makes a statement. What does he say? The bright star. Over which is... time, I've developed a real connection, real, fantastic mm. connection with the people of Liverpool. Of all the different cities I've been to, these events that they allow him to put on, they don't allow other events. They don't allow other people to come in and speak. But they like this guy from France, this core cult guy. Who gets a free pass to do what he wants in the streets with your children while referencing in the pictures <laughs> i mean i don't know this what is all, star. this is all on the internet we're just scrolling through a public website liverpoolecho.com oh my god oh and stella yep oh, stella, moon. Trying... stella moon in the chat just yeah hey stella hey stella this is like the step the, it's like the steel of revealing Yes, S T E L E, the revealing, the apocalypse, <laughs> unveiling. Yeah, this have is. We lo- have we lost anybody with this conversation? I'm sure have we have, but that's along? fine. That's fine. That's not Don't an issue. Stop. So we just okay. want to check in and make sure everyone's still with us because we're not even at the point we're trying to get to. Okay, so I'm going to these, wrap this reading. We're having to then. make. We'll continue. Let me just wrap this real yeah. quick. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, blah blah blah. Uh, okay. So, this isn't just me buttering up, buttering you up with poetry. It's really a deep, fundamental part of myself and my whole creative life. I am, in fact, in love with Liverpool. End quote. And judging by the way the city's people has taken the Giants to their hearts, the feeling is mutual. Quote: We're really proud they chose us to do their last production. Says Wendy. We know first and last. Yep. First and last. First and last. We know they've got a real affection for the city. To be their finale is phenomenal for us. And I'll leave it at phenomenal that. Phenomenal finale. It's like a, it's like a fireworks phenomenal. display. Yep. You know, when you're, when you're done, Grand, you show off. Fireworks finale. display. Like you get some really expensive space sex rockets and fire instructors. <laughs> and you just light them all off and you just... All, you get you get you got all this bottle of energy, Collective. all this bottle of energy, and Sex you gotta magic. let it out simultaneously yep. at the same time in the streets Ooh. of Liverpool. Climax it out, baby. We're not even at the climax. We're not even. We're 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 we're, we're getting there. We're we might have closer. to do. We might have to do a two part because we're running. We're running a bit long, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it is. We, we're yeah, gonna did need... you guys did you guys see how close that guy looks to Larry Bud Millman? Ooh. Oh man. 
There it is. Like it's creepy how close that is. There it is, Alan. Yeah, it, it's uh, ugh. Give him those wonky Elton John glasses and wear gravy. Elton John. Good days. He's a good musician, right? We're gonna see his movie. His bio. He's a great, great musician. So I wanted to connect Liverpool to James Joyce, another artist. Do you? And... We're gonna we're gonna end up having to do uh, at least a, another part of it. So. If you we, yeah, Alan, we need to do this. Yeah. yeah. Um. So if you wanna if you wanna go find a decent breaking point and maybe we'll go for fifteen more minutes or so and then we can we can rip into this can rip into this tomorrow or whatever. Well, yeah. Let me just let me just lay it out bare and then we can see okay. what people bite on what they wanna what they wanna mm. know more about since we're doing this public for an audience here. So there's this um going back to Marseille. Liverpool won the shopping facility and they're doing the excavation. And I have to ask if the reason for these giants going to Liverpool as you know, are, are the giants go to Liverpool to die? Question mark. Are giants buried along the Mersey river Ooh. in Liverpool? Did they discover giants when they were digging around to put up a mall a shopping mall did they find large humanoid skulls of humans that were eight to nine feet tall were they men of renown were they nephilim were they fallen angels were they just royalty did they have better genetics did they eat better food and they just had growth spurts did they find those bodies because in america we have some mounds. Absolutely. We have oh, some bones. Yeah. We have some giant skulls. They're yeah. right up here. I mean, just just right north east of me here in Arizona um, was the Apache battle with the giants legend. Th- there's that. Yep. We have multiple well, mounds here in, in Racine here where I am like that are yep. like it's crazy here. And there's it's been so much in like just everywhere covered up by the in smithsonian Ma- in mario you eat a mushroom you, you grow, grow larger mm-hmm. Power so there's a book <laughs> there's a book by richard j dewhurst called the ancient giants who ruled america the missing skeletons and the great smithsonian mm-hmm. cover-up yeah if you want to know more uh, we're we'll gonna look at that book and and Alan, um, post the show. Can you email me if if you have like those links available or some of that by chance that you could send me? That would yep. be awesome because we'll yep. post that definitely in the in the notes for the video and in the, so in the, the podcast. So the final the final point I wanted to get to was the tallest person in our recorded history before 1940, born February 22nd, 1918, Robert Pershing Wadlow sometimes called the Alton Giant or the Giant of Illinois. Was he playing basketball? I don't know. His height was 8 feet 11 inches, just Holy under sh- 9 feet. Holy shit. He weighed 490 pounds. 811? 811, nobody nobody even in the like NBA, like what was it? A minute ball took it for a second, and then I believe it was... Look for a picture of Robert Pershing or something. He was George? just over seven. He was just over seven foot. Right? He was seven seven. The tallest is technically in the NBA. That I mean, because I'm an NBA nerd, is uh, it was him and Georgie Mirasan was seven foot seven as well. Those are the two tallest. Yao Ming was only like seven two, seven three. Hey, Alan, before I before we go yep. further, and I and I lose the question. Maybe you know, maybe you don't, and I don't remember. Um, didn't the because you were talking about the giants walking across the water. Mm-hmm. And wasn't there? Isn't that part of the Giants Causeway story in Ireland that the 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 Giants walked across to Scotland? That's where we're trying to get to in oh, our look at storytelling. You, Gordon. Look at you, Gordon, we have a smart pupil in the class today. I'm learning just as much as you guys are. This is all in front of <laughs> us, and. If we're sitting watching Elon Musk talking about Dogecoin on Weekend Update, calling Dogecoin, what is Dogecoin? Yeah, exactly. What is that? I still what can't is answer Dogecoin? It. Still yeah. can't. Is it a hustle? 
It's a hustle. Yep. So Elon Musk is telling us Dogecoin is a hustle. He's telling us he is a warrior. He's telling us he is a hustler, maybe a musk rat. Absolutely. Elongated musk it's pretty, rat. It's pretty apparent. <laughs> I mean, for for those, you don't. I really don't even feel like you need that that keen of an eye to 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 see that because clearly, even even those uh, the the woke police, I don't even think it's. Uh, I'm not going to give them any. I'm not giving them any credit. Sorry. So never mind. I'm going to retract that before I even say it. Yeah. So what we're looking forward to this summer, and I encourage all of you guys to go on Twitter, follow this organization follow all these people as they're posting pictures about one little girl one big hope little amal a-m-a-l a mall a ba- a mall is mall bad does that mean is that a positive thing i don't know a, movie mall. a young refugee embarks on a remarkable journey an epic voyage that will take her across turkey across europe to find her mother she's looking for her mother she wants to get back to school. She wants to start a new life. It asks, will the world let her? Can she achieve what now seems more impossible than ever? Following the phenomenal international success of the jungle, good chance in collaboration with world famous creators of the War Horse Handspring Puppet Company. This is a different company, but the similar thing is it's a puppet show, giant puppet show in a public mm. ritual. Is... They're going to present the most <laughs> extraordinary work yet. It's called The Walk, a traveling festival of art and hope in support of refugees with artistic direction from Amir Nazir Zouabi. In 2021, from the Syria-Turkey border, Syria-Turkey border, would you be stoned crossing the seriously dude seriously what are you for thinking? having for having the cojones two we have four cojones here because we have two men taking their daughter across the border i don't want to go there but it sounds to me like they're moving <laughs> cars are traffic trafficking borders child two men Templars. What is, what is the story? We don't. Here? Yeah, if Greg was here. He'd be queued out. Thank God he isn't. Well, right now. go ahead. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, Greg. I had to do that. So again, they're telling us this this puppet, this little Amal girl, and you saw the pictures of her earlier on yeah on the Twitter feed. They call her Little Amal, and she's from the Handspring Puppet Company. She's representing all displaced children. They tell us she is representing. There you go. All displaced children, many separated from their families. Little Amal Mm. will travel over 8,000 kilometers, embodying the the urgent message. Don't forget about us. Missing children. Don't forget about us. At this time of unprecedented global change. The walk is an extraordinary artistic response, a cultural odyssey, a Super Mario odyssey. This is in, in wait, I'm getting enraged this, right now. Yeah, wait, it is. is. It is. Is this signaling transcending exactly? borders? Transcending borders. It's, it's a middle finger and language. to all of it to tell a new story of shared humanity and to ensure the world doesn't forget the millions of displaced children this is a middle with their finger. own story who are more vulnerable than ever during the global pandemic vulnerable children more than ever during the global pandemic oh and little they... amal urgently needs your help your help to advocate for advocate for and support the pfizer Long vaccine refugees. that just got approved by the fda for 12 to 15 year olds Oh, sorry. Please support the walk by donating. They're asking for you to donate today. What the fuck? But again, we didn't even get into the the people behind this. Who are the two men who designed this story? 
Let's leave it. Let's leave this hanging. Let's leave this hanging, Alan. We have some <laughs> this homework. Is great. This is amazing. <laughs> And that was the biggest middle finger I've ever heard to the entire human Holy trafficking shit. thing and people investigating this it or even what giving a shit. We're looking forward to as they cross through Italy. Why are they going through Italy? They're walking over water Ooh. to go through Italy. You asked earlier something the other puppet show, the other guy, the John yeah. Corcult guy, Jean, Jean Luc Corcult at a maritime museum. Is the Maritime Museum, do the, does the Maritime Museum have different maritime laws? laws. Are there oh, different there, maritime there courts? Of course. Mario, Elon Musk, in a court, a mockery, they're <sighs> making a mockery of the court as a joke. And the punchline is Black Mario is resurrected. And <laughs> we're tired is, of is that the, the weeping is that spiders hate speech. You guys are yeah. saying <laughs> these things on the internet about me, Wario. Remember Elon Musk who posts a meme about Microsoft and Zoom. And the guy, the famous political cartoonist, got real upset that Elon Musk reposted a meme of the art he created with his name removed, the art changed to say vaccine 666, Zune, Elon Musk. You see that meme? Did anybody else see that one? I don't think I did, no. Are we talking Zune, like the failed uh, iPod? We're talking watch <laughs> Elon Musk's Twitter feed. And see the jokes oh, that he know. says, I, I and then see what he removes. God, okay. I hate Twitter. The tweets that remove, the tweets that remain. What's the difference? That's why I have Free Wayback speech? installed. So everybody, I, I encourage everybody to install the Wayback machine, download it, get it, so you know mm. these things can be brought back. So I don't know what this Liverpool obsession is. I don't know this James Joyce connection to Liverpool, the portrait of an artist of a young man. What is the mythology of Liverpool? Who are the Titans? Why are they walking the streets of Liverpool? Who are the men of great renown? What is Genesis? What is Revelation, the revelation of John? Are we living through the apocalypse now? Is this what the tribulation looks like? Is there a rapture? And are we going to space? Is that our rapture? Or did the rapture happen when the CEOs disappeared? Disappeared. These are all valid, great questions. Um, my mind is blown and in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. My brains are scattered all over, all over these walls. And That's fun. Your brain is Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Yeah. Roomed. <laughs> um, it's like shrooms. Shrooms on Mars. This is heavy. Knowles, you're, you're jumping on sooner than later, too, with this one. Um, sorry. Not sorry. But anyway, we're going to continue this tomorrow. Thank you, everybody in the chat. Thanks for everybody hanging out. Let's get on Twitter. Let's ask some more questions and let's try to find some some answers. Let's work together. Yeah. I mean, that's what this is all about. Bringing all of us together, all very like-minded. Um, and uh, yeah, we got homework. We just, we just want to find the information that's posted publicly on Twitter. Uh, there are websites and we just want to read it it's and just there. see what it says. It's there somewhere. They always signal this stuff. They have, yeah. Is, it, that's what this feels is. Like it's a rule. It feels like the rule. I'm not going to say I, it is the rule. That's why I was sharing with you guys the Wander, or what is it? Was it Wander? Yeah, the Wander movie with the guy yeah. with the implants. They're signaling, they're, they're showing you they're doing it. They're doing it. Mm -hmm. They're showing you the wrong, completely wrong way. But yeah. they're showing you it happens. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I'll definitely have to check that out too. I will don't definitely. Don't pay for it. No, I won't. I don't. 
cart actually. Yeah. A P to P, man. You no, will YouTube. pay for it. Yeah, yeah. We're, 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 all, we're all yeah. we're all paying for it. We've already we've already paid on. for it actually. Yeah. Let's be realistic here, guys. Yeah. Okay, so everybody, uh, we're gonna sign off now. Have a beautiful rest of your evening, morning, <laughs> wherever Alan. you may be in the world. And thank um, you so much. Leave some yeah. comments, guys. Leave yeah. some comments on this video. Leave Tell comments us. on the video. Questions, Tell whatever us you have. what is wild. Tell us what is off track. Tell us what is on track. We need to navigate. Help us. Navigate us this. Directions. Navigate these waters together, maritime yep. or not. And this is a crazy odyssey. It definitely is. And we're going to be back. We're going to shoot for tomorrow to come back to continue yep. this. Um, yep. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Have a You're beautiful evening. Mind. Thank you, Alan, for blowing everybody's mind. Gordon, thank you for being here. Fun. Everybody, we love you. You know, this is us, so whatever. Ooh, we live in your, we live inside your minds, though, so don't forget that. 